Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Naruto. This Uchiha only knows fire style. Chapter 61. Konoha, Hokage Building Office. In the past few days, the incident of the Six Path Sage's great secret treasure has become known to everyone in Konoha. Even children of a few years old have made up a few rhymes and are shouting them on the streets every day. This shows how powerful the communication and influence are. Even as the Hokage of Konoha, Sarutobi Hiruzen could not suppress this storm of public opinion even if he wanted to. Because he knew that apart from Konoha, the so-called secret treasure of the Six Path Sage had spread throughout the entire ninja world. But if this continues, it is entirely foreseeable how much trouble those people attracted here will bring to Konoha. After realizing the seriousness of the situation, Sarutobi Hiruzen called a few old friends over to discuss the matter. Tell me, how should we deal with this matter? After everyone arrived, Sarutobi Hiruzen paused and asked if they had any good ideas. Hiruzen, tell us honestly, do you have the Six Path Sage's great treasure? Shimura Danzo stared at Sarutobi Hiruzen with his single eye exposed, and asked calmly. Apparently, he believed the information provided by Uchiha Itachi to some extent, because he did send rude ninjas to try to assassinate Uchiha Itachi, but they all failed. He also knew that there was some deal between Uchiha Itachi and Sarutobi Hiruzen that he didn't know about. What do you think? Sarutobi Hiruzen rolled his eyes and asked back. In his opinion, such a stupid question does not need to be answered. If there really was some secret treasure of the Six Path Sage, Senju and Uchiha would have had another god of Ninja World and Shira of Ninja World long ago. How could they have been harmed like this? But I didn't expect that Danzo Shimura would actually believe that rumor. I was too lazy to explain it to him, so I just gave him a look and let him figure it out on his own. I, being ignored by Sarutobi Hiruzen, Danzo Shimura felt deeply humiliated and his anger rose suddenly. Just as he was about to speak, he was interrupted. All right, Danzo, those are all irrelevant things. The most important thing now is what we should do to make people outside believe that we don't have the Six Path Sage's great secret treasure. Instead of starting an internal conflict here, seeing that Shimura Danzo was still trying to make trouble, Yutain Kaharu couldn't help but interrupt to stop him. Humph. After thinking about it, he realized that now was not the time to question Sarutobi Hiruzen, so he snorted coldly and then Shimura Danzo calmed down. But no one spoke anymore, everyone was thinking about how to get through this crisis. The four of them share a common interest and have been together for many years, and have long developed a tacit understanding with each other. Everyone knows that if this matter cannot be resolved completely, those jackals that were lured here would definitely tear Konoha apart. No one can stay out of it. The interests of Konoha are their roots and their lives. Hiruzen, perhaps we can do this. After a long time, Midoman Yan, who always had a lower presence among the four, suddenly spoke. All of a sudden, it attracted everyone's attention. Then, Mizudoman N began to talk about a plan he had just thought of. Since the Six Path Sage's great secret treasure is in our hands, let's take it out, and then, accidentally, it was stolen. In this way, those who come to Konoha to look for treasure will naturally have no reason to cause trouble for us. Since this is an idea that came to mind on a whim, many details have not been perfected and optimized, so Mizuto Menyon can only briefly tell you the general idea. After hearing what Midoman N said, the other's eyes lit up and they immediately chose this countermeasure without any prior agreement. Menyan, I didn't expect you to be so smart. Sarutobi Hiruzen smiled lightly, and it was obvious that the huge rock that was weighing on his heart had finally been put down. The problem has a temporary solution. But who is Uchiha Itachi who spread this news? We must find out. This time it's solved, what about next time? An enemy who hides himself and whose background and purpose are unknown is the most terrifying. Sarutobi Hiruzen looked solemn and said in a deep voice. Could it be the Uchiha who killed Konohamaru before who did it? Yutain Kaharu guessed. She was deeply impressed by that Uchiha and she had not forgotten his existence even after so much time. Humph, a loser who hides his head and shows his tail. How capable do you think he is? If he really had this ability, he would have done it long ago. In my opinion, he is just bluffing to scare cowards like you. After hearing what Yutain Kaharu said, Danzo Shimura immediately retorted, his words showing great disdain, 
as a small revenge for the collision she had just caused him. You, Hirazin, look at this guy Danzo, he is becoming more and more lawless. Does he still have eyes for you, the Hokage? In front of several good friends, she clearly stated that she was a coward, and Yutain Kaharu was so angry that her blood pressure rose. But he also knew that she was no match for Danzo, so he quickly dragged Sarutobi Hirazin into the fight. All right, regarding the matter of that mysterious Uchiha, Danzo, you must find him as soon as possible. For the safety of Konoha. It's dangerous, it's better to get rid of it as soon as possible. In the verbal conflict between the two, Sarutobi Hirazan didn't want to help either of them. But the Uchiha that Kaharu Yudatain mentioned was the one who killed his grandson Konohamaru. No matter what, he won't let the other party have an easy time. Humph, as long as he dares to appear in front of me, you will never escape from my grasp, Shimura Danzo said coldly. His confidence comes from the eye covered by the bandage, which possesses the strongest illusion ability to silently change the will of others. Feeling the power of this eye, he also began to be interested in Uchiha Itachi. It can be roughly guessed that Shisui's other Mangekyo is in Uchiha Itachi's hands. If it could be taken back, with both eyes intact, he can activate the legendary Uchiha divine power, Suzano. By then, he won't have to take the little Hirazan seriously at all. Maybe he can even conquer the entire ninja world by himself like Uchiha Madara did back then. Finally, who will carry out this plan? Do you have any good candidates? Afterwards, several people began to discuss and improve some details of the plan. But when it came to selecting the person, things got stuck. The main thing is the person who will carry out this mission, who not only needs strong strength, extraordinary brains, quick thinking, and the ability to respond to emergencies, but also the degree of loyalty to Konoha. These factors are indispensable, as they concern the life and death of Konoha. If this is the case, there won't be many people to choose from. How about letting the Hyuga clan's branch carry out this mission? Yutain Kaharu thought for a while and set her sights on the Hyuga clan. No, to be honest, the Hyuga clan's strength is not top-notch, it can only be considered first-rate, but it is still not up to the task this time. Our plan cannot afford to fail. My personal suggestion is that it would be better to let Donzo's root people carry out the task. Whether it's strength or loyalty, it's guaranteed. When Mizuto Menyon heard what his old friend said, he shook his head and expressed his different opinion. The greatest role of the Hyuga clan lies in the assistance of the Byakugan function, rather than its display of military power. In terms of strength, mission execution, and loyalty, it is clear that no one can compare to Donzo's roots. No, the people at the root cannot move. Konoha is in an extraordinary period right now. Every member of the Root is an important fighting force. For Konoha, we can't lose in a place like this. I think it's best to let Kakashi carry out this mission. After hearing what Mido Kato N said, Danzo immediately refuted and then, recommended, someone that no one expected. Kakashi, are you crazy, Danzo? Don't you know that Kakashi has begun to have second thoughts about Konoha? If he leaks this mission information at a critical moment, do you know how troublesome Konoha's situation will become? You asked him to carry out this mission because you wanted him to destroy Konoha. Yutain Kaharu was the first to jump out and disagreed. Humph, madness, since you know Kakashi has second thoughts about Konoha, why don't you use this opportunity to get rid of him? Danzo asked back with a sarcastic look on his face as he looked at Yutain Kaharu. This, hearing this, Yutain Kaharu was speechless for a moment. So does everyone else, although, they did do a lot of shameful things in secret. But they never show it, even in front of their old friends who they have worked with for many years. And Danzo seemed to be born without any scruples. He didn't care about anything and acted recklessly. I watched Kakashi grow up. Although that child has gone through some twists and turns, his heart is ultimately with Konoha. As long as he hasn't betrayed Konoha, he is a ninja of Konoha. I believe he will make the right choice. After a long time, Sarutobi Hirazan picked up his pipe with a lonely look, took a deep puff, and then expressed infinite emotion. The other three people kept making up stories about each other's hypocrisy in their minds. Hirazan, that's enough. Why are you still putting on airs in front of us? This matter is settled. Let Kakashi do it. 
Danzo Shimura couldn't stand Serutobi Hiruzen's nagging and hypocrisy anymore, so he made a decision for him very stubbornly. Oh, for Konoha, I hope Kakashi understands. Once these words were spoken, the matter basically came to an end. Konoha is the strongest, most prosperous and largest ninja village. Because of the issue of the Six Paths Sage's secret treasure, people from all over the world have gathered in Konoha in the past few days. There is a mix of good and bad people, but it also makes Konoha seem very lively. I just don't know if Konoha can withstand the pressure this time. Uchiha Yi, who has changed his appearance, returns here again, feeling infinite emotion in his heart. In the past, I was timid and had no choice but to leave my hometown. Today, I am no longer a weakling. Wherever the leaves are flying, the fire is endless. The flames will continue to illuminate the village, but they will also devour everything. I wonder if you still remember what I said a few months ago. If you have forgotten, let me remind you of it. Not far away, a guard team consisting of several ninjas were patrolling and maintaining law and order. According to the information provided by Black Zetsu, there is a member of the Serutobi clan among them, but his name is unknown. Uchiha Yi had forgotten about it, or rather, he didn't take it to heart at all, because... Hey, he stretched out his hand and lightly snapped his fingers, just to look cool, not to show off his lighter skills. Ignition. The next second, Serutobi, who was targeted as not worthy of having a name, suddenly felt hot all over and his patrolling steps came to a halt. When I looked down, I found that I was on fire. Moreover, the temperature of the fire was extremely high, and it only took one second for him to be burned and cause unbearable pain. The other people on patrol were so scared that they turned around to look. I saw him rolling on the ground with flames all over his body and screaming in pain. They didn't understand why he was fine just now but became like this. Even if they were attacked, there wouldn't be no sound at all, right? Although they were puzzled, they couldn't just watch their teammates go on like this. Since it is on fire, use water to put it out. So, without thinking too much, they quickly formed seals with their hands, preparing to release water escape to rescue their teammates. However, two seconds have passed. In these two seconds, Serutobi needs to endure the burning of 1000 degrees. Just ask, how long can a mortal body last under such circumstances? Now the answer is given, more than two seconds, less than three seconds. This Serutobi tribe member died instantly, leaving behind a pitch black skeleton. From the beginning to the end, it only took about three seconds. A living person died right in front of them. And, I don't know how it happened. Not only the remaining guards, but also many people around them had expressions of shock. Now how to do? The members of the Serutobi clan died on the streets of Konoha without any warning in front of everyone. Such a strange and terrifying thing made several guards feel terrified, and even their voices trembled. Report this to the Hokage now. The few people who had forced themselves to calm down did not care about panic and quickly arranged for someone to go to the Hokage building to report, while the rest were responsible for looking after the scene. Soon, the third Hokage Serutobi Hiruzen came hurriedly. Listen to the descriptions of people around and see the burn marks on the body. As a doctor of ninjutsu, he knew that this was caused by an extremely strange and powerful fire-style jutsu. His expression suddenly became solemn. The great secret treasure of the Six Paths Sage really attracted all the evildoers in the ninja world. Uchiha Yi had thought about it before, how should revenge be carried out? After dealing with Konohamaru, choose to hide in the dark, and when the chance comes, assassinate them one by one. Or should we just run over to their clan territory now, place down a few level 10 fire resistance rings, and flatten everything? This way of revenge is not so much revenge as it is a forgiveness of the hatred of Serutobi Hiruzen and others, giving them a chance for redemption. It was such a pleasant death for them. It didn't meet Uchiha Yi's psychological expectations at all. If you are going to do it, you must do it to the extreme. Let everything they care about be crushed. Today is just the first kill, it's far from the end. There is still time for revenge, no need to rush. Looking at Serutobi Hiruzen's unhappy expression from afar, Uchiha Yi chuckled a few times and turned away. Now is not the time to kill him, that would only leave him with a bad reputation as a Hokage. Bury the body first, continue patrolling and be more vigilant. 
After Sarutobi Hiruzen arrived at the scene, he asked the Anbu ninjas to investigate repeatedly, but they could not find any clues. It was so weird that it made Sarutobi Hiruzen feel cold and uneasy. I have never seen such a terrifying escape technique, it kills people without leaving any trace. He didn't know how he should deal with it if it were him. With a heavy heart, Sarutobi Hiruzen returned to the office in the Hokage building again. After thinking about it, he called a few of his good friends over. Hiruzen, you know I'm busy. Don't be idle all day, call me over. As soon as he came in, Shimura Danzo said in a very unpleasant tone. He had just returned to the root base and hadn't even sat down when he was called over again. It was inevitable that he felt a little resentful. This reason really doesn't take him seriously. Yutane Kaharu and Midokado N were also confused. The incident happened too suddenly, and they haven't received any specific information yet, so naturally they don't know why Sarutobi Hiruzen called them over. Just now on the main street of Konoha, a member of Sarutobi's clan was burned to death by a strange fire escape technique. I can't find any clues at all. I don't know how many people like this there are in Konoha now. Sarutobi Hiruzen couldn't keep his inner peace, and spoke with trembling hands. After these words were spoken, the other three people naturally knew what this meant and their faces turned unhappy. Then have you arrested the people around you and investigated them one by one? Shimura Danzo frowned and asked. There are many people from various ninja villages and daimyo delegations around. You dare to arrest someone without any evidence? Are you not afraid of causing a war? Sarutobi Hiruzen held his forehead with a headache and no longer expected Shimura Danzo to give him any advice. Quote dot 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 quote. For a moment, everyone present fell silent. I had thought before that the evil spirits that were attracted here would bring chaos to Konoha, but I didn't expect that this day would come so soon. Danzo, how is Kakashi's mission going? No conclusion was reached on this matter. Sarutobi Hiruzen had no choice but to change the subject and ask Danzo Shimura directly, no longer speaking vaguely as he did before. Give me a day. After thinking for a while, Shimura Danzo gave his answer. Normally a few quarrels would be harmless, but now the situation had obviously reached a point where he had to be cautious. Sorry to bother you. It's rare for Sarutobi Hiruzen to be polite to Shimura Danzo, which is enough to show how much pressure he is under now. Humph. Danzo Shimura was somewhat unappreciative and left with a snort. Killing people directly in front of many people in Konoha. The panic caused is far from being as calm as it appears on the surface. In a private room of a restaurant. Sitting there are the envoys from the Hidden Cloud Village who came to visit Konoha. At this time, they also heard about the murder. He he he. Killing someone in the street, and we don't even know who the murderer is. This is really a slap in Konoha's face. Tutai smiled with a gloating look. Who said it wasn't? His face turned completely green when I saw him. The people around echoed, not taking the ninjas who were monitoring them seriously at all, and talked about Sarutobi Hiruzen's ugly behavior without any scruples. The Anbu who was in charge of monitoring them was so angry that he clenched his fists tightly, but did not dare to take any action. Reception Office for Foreign Missions the people from the Sand Village delegation have been staying in their residence because they have no money to spend. Only those who are assigned to this task can wander around Konoha with the purpose of gathering intelligence. Lord Maki, we have information. After a Sand Ninja came back from going out, he hurried to Maki's room. Then, he told the story of the big event that had just happened in Konoha. The attraction of the Six Path Sage's great treasure is really extraordinary. But the one who should be having a headache is Konoha's Hokage. Keep gathering intelligence, Maki ordered. Yes. Many people saw this happen with their own eyes, and it would be impossible to hide it. As the various ninja villages and organizations received this news, their hidden thoughts began to become active. They did not think that this was just a murder, but the beginning of a fight for the Six Path Sage's great treasure. Think about it, if someone was going to kill someone, why did they kill people from the Sarutobi clan and not others? This was clearly a purposeful killing. What is the purpose of this? Of course it's the Six Path Sage's great secret treasure. It is now rumored in the ninja world that the secret treasure of the Six Path Sage is in the hands of the third Hokage Sarutobi Hiruzen. Many people are convinced of this. But with the strength of most people, they are no match for Sarutobi Hiruzen. 
In that case, they would choose the members of the Serutobi clan and force out the information about the great secret treasure. Once he obtains the great secret treasure of the Six Path Sage, his strength will skyrocket. Why would he be afraid of offending the third Hokage? It is precisely because of these details that many people are ready to take action. Although Konoha appears calm on the surface, there are actually undercurrents in secret. Kakashi, this is your mission. After Danzo Shimura found Kakashi who was reading pornographic books, he directly threw the mission scroll to him. Seeing this, Kakashi had to pull himself away from Yan Ryu's book. He reached out to take the task scroll and opened it directly. Although, Kakashi had doubts about the Konoha's top leaders in his heart. But after all, he is still a ninja of Konoha and cannot refuse the mission assigned by the Hokage. Okay, I see, I will complete the task. After reading the content, Kakashi felt that this task was too simple, and he felt an indescribable strangeness in his heart. But until he fell out with Konoha's top brass, he was still a ninja of Konoha. Although this mission felt a bit strange, Kakashi didn't think it was a trap. Just like his father did. All I can say is that time is a cycle. I just don't know if Kakashi will continue to stay in Konoha after knowing the truth. On this day, all the envoys from various villages and daimyos who visited Konoha received an invitation from the third Hokage. He expressed that Konoha wanted to thank them for coming and would host a banquet in their honor. What does Konoha want to do? At this time, shouldn't he be concentrating on hunting down the murderer? How could he be in the mood to entertain them? Things give people a sense of weirdness. I always feel that this might be a Hongmen banquet. But when you think about the villages and countries they represent, if Serutobi Hirazan dares to touch them, it would be equivalent to Konoha provoking a world war. I believe Serutobi Hirazan would not do such a stupid thing. What if Serutobi Hirazan has already obtained the supreme power of the Six Path Sage's great secret treasure? Smart people figured out the key point. If this is true, I'm afraid no one will be able to escape unscathed. Therefore, the people who originally came to Konoha to search for treasure were all unorganized and idle groups, but now they began to stick together for warmth. The people of the Hidden Cloud Village believed that Konoha would not dare to touch them, and they did not form an alliance with anyone. Besides, the reputation of the Great Ninja Village makes them unable to lower their status. The same is true for the other three major ninja villages. As for the Takigakur, they directly brought the tailed beast Jinchuriki here. They were so arrogant that they naturally thought that they were the sixth largest ninja village on par with the other five largest ninja villages. They look down on other small ninja villages and will not choose to cooperate with them. Finally, there are the remaining small ninja villages, headed by the Kusagakur village, which form a collection of ninja village alliances with the largest number of people. At this time, the six major forces, plus the daimyo group who came to watch the fun, all sat together at a large round table. It is filled with all kinds of delicacies, which whets one's appetite. It can be seen that the third Hokage's invitation was full of sincerity. However, no one had the intention of picking up their chopsticks first, and their eyes kept looking at Serutobi Hirazan from time to time, as if they were saying something. We are here at your invitation. Next, it's time to talk about your purpose. Cough, cough, cough. Thank you all for coming. I also know the purpose of everyone's visit to Konoha. Before that, how about we eat and talk? The deathly silence at the table made the atmosphere seem a little heavy. Serutobi Hirazan had to speak in a relaxed tone, and directly pointed out the purpose of everyone's visit, and also told everyone the theme of the meal he was treating them to. Ha ha ha, if that's the case, then we can't but give the third Hokage this face. Now that things have come to this, there is no need to treat his stomach badly. Tutai laughed heartily picked up the chopsticks, picked up a large piece of fat meat, and swallowed it in one gulp. Seeing this, the others followed suit. At this time, the atmosphere at the dinner table gradually became more relaxed. Serutobi Hirazan felt that the time was right, and after brewing his tone for a moment, he spoke. Thank you all for coming. My purpose in inviting you all this time is to solve the matter of the Six Path Sage's great secret treasure. As soon as these words were spoken, the sand ninjas, who were eating happily, quickly put down their chopsticks and focused their attention on Serutobi Hirazan. The others also put down their chopsticks and looked over there. To be honest, 
Before this, I had no idea what the Six Paths Sage's great secret treasure was. Everyone asked me to take it out, but I can't. Later, this incident escalated, causing Konoha to be under great pressure now. So, in order to solve this matter, I can only bear the infamy of offending the dignity of my sect and send people to the Senju and Uchiha clans to search for this so-called great secret treasure. Result, when he said this, Sarutobi Hirazan paused, picked up the thermos, put it to his mouth and sipped the water, looking completely unhurried. Everyone gnashed their teeth at the sight. What I hate most is people who leave half the truth behind when speaking. Even though people were very curious about what would happen next, no one was willing to cooperate with Sarutobi Hirazan, as that would make you look stupid and inferior to Sarutobi Hirazan. Ah, Sarutobi Hirazan sighed with some disappointment, and inexplicably thought of the good things about Danzo. If he were there, he wouldn't have to perform a one-man show alone. Continue what you just said. After some searching, I didn't expect that we actually found the Six Paths Sage's great secret treasure. It's just that I haven't seen it, and I don't know if it's true. So, everyone is invited to come and identify it. These words were the script that Sarutobi Hirazan had pondered over for a long time before deciding on. Because in this matter, no matter how he denied it, no one outside would believe what he said. You have to take the blame whether you stand horizontally or vertically. This black pot fell from the sky and welded itself directly onto me, and I couldn't get rid of it. Sarutobi Hirazan had never felt so aggrieved before, and he finally felt like he was the cage of the pot. So, in order to get rid of this trouble, he could only take the blame with tears in his eyes and tell everyone present that the secret treasure of the Six Paths Sage really exists. Wow, after hearing this, everyone couldn't sit still anymore and jumped up from their stools, still unable to hide their excitement. Then Hokage, can you please take out the Six Paths Sage's great secret treasure and let us see it? Nothing else, just a little curious. The representative of Kusagakur village, Wu Wei, seems to have Parkinson's disease at a young age. His hands tremble when he speaks. Their Kusagakur village is the ninja village that believes in the Six Paths Sage the most besides the Hidden Cloud village. They also believe in the existence of the Six Paths Sage's great secret treasure. But rumors are just rumors, and there is no real moment for the news to be confirmed. He just believed it all the time. Now that he had heard the exact message from the third Hokage, he was so excited that he could hardly conceal his expression. The others performed similarly. No problem at all. I invited everyone here this time just to let you help with the identification. I will have the Anbu bring the Six Path Sage's great secret treasure here right now. After saying this, the third Hokage gave a signal to the hidden Anbu. The Anbu understood the Hokage's intention and left quietly. He he he, don't worry, it will be brought to you soon. Everyone, don't just wait around, the meal isn't over yet. Sarutobi Hirazan said to everyone with a smile. Ha ha ha. The third Hokage is so domineering. That's right, that's right. As expected of Konoha's strongest Hokage. Everyone was delighted to be able to get access to the Six Paths Sage's secret treasure so easily. He also knew that this was a sign of compromise on the part of Serutobi Hirazan. Since the other party is so sensible, they can't continue to be hostile. In just a few minutes, the scene became very harmonious and joyful. Oh no, Hokage-sama. Kakashi ran away with the Six Paths Sage's great secret treasure. Serutobi Hirazan knew that the time had come to test his acting skills. He immediately showed an expression of disbelief, with a haze covering his entire body. He suppressed his anger and said in a deep voice, Chase him and take back the great secret treasure. Then he looked at everyone at the table with an apologetic look. Everyone, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect such a problem would arise. I still underestimated the temptation of the Six Path Sage's great treasure to ninjas. Don't air your dirty laundry in public. I won't say any more. I have something urgent to do right now, so I can't entertain you all. I apologize again. As the Hokage, Serutobi Hirazan was very humble, sincere, and apologized repeatedly so that they could not find any fault with him. After saying this, when Serutobi Hirazan was about to leave, a figure suddenly rushed in in a hurry. I'm sorry Hokage-sama, there was an accident on the way. Now I have fulfilled my mission and successfully delivered the great secret treasure. 
The person who came was, Kakashi. He took out an exquisite iron box, put it on the table, and then handed it to Sarutobi Hirazan, while reporting the reason for being late. I, looking at the white-haired ninja in front of him, Sarutobi Hirazan was in an awkward dilemma. As soon as he said there was a problem with the great secret treasure, Kakashi delivered it personally. Isn't this what was originally planned? Which link did the problem occur? Did Danzo fail to handle the matter properly, or did Kakashi foresee something was wrong? Sarutobi Hirazan's mind is now blank. In order to prevent any accidents, he also transferred several Byakugan masters from the Hyuga clan. When, Kakashi, came in, I observed that it was his real self, not someone disguised by transformation technique. Therefore, Sarutobi Hirazan's current situation has become extremely unfavorable, and he is simply caught in a dilemma. The exquisite iron box in front of me was like a hot potato, and I didn't dare to reach out and touch it. Third Hokage, the Six Paths Sage's great treasure has been delivered, why are you indifferent? Is this a regret? Not noticing the subtle change in Sarutobi Hirazan's expression, the anxious man began to urge him. Ha ha ha, sorry, sorry, I was so happy just now that I almost forgot about the business. Now I'll ask everyone to help take a look. At this point, Sarutobi Hirazan had no choice but to go ahead. If it really doesn't work, then we can only give up Kakashi. The speed of extending the hand was extremely slow, as if it was in slow motion. But the distance is so short, no matter how much Sarutobi Hirazan delays, he will eventually have to face reality. Click. The iron box was opened, and everyone immediately saw two palm-sized black and white beads inside. When the light is insufficient, you can faintly see the fluorescent light flashing on their bodies. It looks a little strange, but if this is the great secret treasure of the Six Paths Sage, this appearance seems very ordinary. Tutai and Wu Wei, who had come into contact with the tools of the Six Path Sage, also observed them for a long time, but their expressions of doubt could not be dispelled. Is this the great secret treasure of the Six Path Sage? Are you sure you're not kidding me? I've been looking at them for so long, why do I feel like they are just two ordinary night shining pearls? Why does it feel like the so-called great secret treasure is not even as good as the items of the Six Path Sage? Could it be fake? Third Hokage, you are not using a fake thing to tease us, are you? Tudai smiled with a forced smile. Among the people present, only their people from the Hidden Cloud Village dared to be so rude, and he spoke directly in a sarcastic tone. Fake, no way. When you find them, always have three or more elite Jonin guarding them. It can't be fake. Unless, hearing this, Sarutobi Hirazan knew that his problem had been discovered, so he gritted his teeth and expressed it implicitly. Hokage-sama, you are not suspecting that I have replaced the Six Paths Sage's great treasure. Seeing Sarutobi Hirazan casting a suspicious look at him, Kakashi's face changed and he said with heartache. Don't worry Kakashi, I never doubted you. It's just that there's a problem with the great secret treasure now. I need you now to cooperate with the Anbu's investigation. Sarutobi Hirazan showed a helpless expression and explained. Ha 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 ha, good good, Sarutobi Hirazan, you are so fine. I've given so much to Konoha, and this is how you treat me. Two generations of the Hitaki family have devoted their lives to Konoha until their death. My father chose to save his teammates and gave up the mission, which led to the failure of the mission. Just because of this, I have become a sinner for all eternity and have been condemned by thousands of people. Then you scumbags incited public opinion in the village and forced my father to commit suicide. Now it's finally my turn, right? I've seen through it. You just want to use this mission of escorting the great treasure to frame me. So that you four old guys can get out of this. With scum like you Sarutobi Hirazan, Shimura Danzo here. One day or another, Konoha will be ruined by you all. Ha ha ha, Kakashi seemed unable to bear such harsh treatment, as if he had gone mad. Suddenly, his personality changed drastically. He no longer had any concerns and abandoned everything. In front of everyone, he pointed at the Hokage's nose and cursed, and frequently made shocking remarks, pointing out the cause of death of Kakashi's father. It also points out his hypocritical side and tells everyone that he, Sarutobi Hirazan, is framing me, Kakashi. Shut up. 
The representatives of various countries and villages were originally annoyed that Sarutobi Hiruzen used a fake thing to fool people, and were about to attack him, but they didn't expect that Kakashi, a loyal minister of Konoha, exploded before them. Moreover, every word he revealed was a big piece of news, a scandal that Konoha could hardly hide. For a moment, everyone present forgot about the Six Paths Sage's great treasure, and they all showed expressions of gloating, eating spectacles online. Unexpectedly, Kakashi would suddenly turn against him and start scolding him. Sarutobi Hiruzen was stunned, as if he had nothing to say after being scolded. By the time he reacted, Kakashi had said everything he should and shouldn't have said. And there are so many outsiders around. I, Sarutobi Hiruzen knew that he couldn't go on like this and had to say something to save face. But Kakashi didn't give him a chance. What me? Sarutobi Hiruzen, because I exposed your scandal, do you hold a grudge against me and want to kill me to silence me? Humph, fortunately I was prepared, anti-psychic art. Oh, after a puff of white smoke rose from the spot, there was no trace of Kakashi. This farce came to an end when Kakashi ran away, but it was not over. Although the people who were invited did not get their hands on the Six Path Sage's great secret treasure, they were fully satisfied with the big melon of Konoha. Everyone went back happily, except Sarutobi Hiruzen, who was still disheveled in the wind. He reluctantly took the blame for something that didn't belong to him. That's fine, as long as the blame is shifted away, it won't be a big problem. But the bad thing is, the blame was thrown back. As a result, he didn't gain any benefits and got into trouble instead. Now, in the eyes of the ninja villages of various countries, I am probably just a Hokage with dirty means and a hypocrite who likes to betray his own people. Sarutobi Hiruzen, who has always paid attention to his reputation and carefully managed his character, is almost going crazy. The other side, with the help of Black Zetsu's intelligence, the efficiency of doing good deeds is high. No matter what little plans Sarutobi Hiruzen and the others have, we will know them first. So, when Sarutobi Hiruzen wanted to use Kakashi, Uchihayi immediately took advantage of the situation. Taking advantage of the characteristics of White Zetsu, just like Obito in the original plot, put White Zetsu on the shadow clone-like clothes. Finally, he used White Zetsu's disguise technique to transform into Kakashi. The power of the disguise technique lies in the fact that it can not only change the target's appearance, but also change the same chakra and ninjutsu. Even those who were most familiar with Kakashi, or even sentient ninjas, could not recognize him. This move is White Zetsu's hidden ultimate skill, and Black Zetsu originally did not intend to use it now. But unfortunately Uchihayi has a system and plugins. He used an ability that he had never taken seriously against Black Zetsu. Will of Fire, it's just that the dark version of the Will of Fire was used against Black Zetsu. After some sweet talk and persuasion, Black Zetsu finally agreed. Of course, if Black Zetsu does not agree in the end, Uchihayi also has other plans, but they will be a little more troublesome. The art of impersonation is a deadly trick. The Hyuga Byakugan and Perception Ninjas present could not find any problems at all and completely treated him as the real Kakashi. Taking advantage of the time difference that the real Kakashi was not present, they spread rumors, slandered and defamed Kakashi in front of everyone, causing Sarutobi Hiruzen to lose all the face he cared about. Finally, in order to prevent any flaws, he used the reverse summoning technique to transfer the white Zetsu body and shadow clone away so that no evidence would be left behind, forming a perfect closed loop. Even in the end Sarutobi Hiruzen found Kakashi to confront him. So do you think that after what Sarutobi Hiruzen did today and sold Kakashi out so badly, will Kakashi still trust him? If Kakashi still wants to continue being a dog, then just pretend that Uchihayi never said this. Now, tearing off Sarutobi Hiruzen's hypocrisy is only the first step. The real pain is just about to begin. Ah, is the essence of this world a nesting doll? Thinking back on the entire incident, Uchihayi sighed and said with emotion. What nesting dolls? Black Zetsu beside him asked in confusion. Nothing, you'll know later. Uchiha Yi made a riddle and felt a little funny in his heart. Black Zetsu deceived Madara, Madara deceived Obito, and Obito deceived Nagato. Isn't this just a nesting doll? I once laughed at this matter, and now it is happening to me. I let Sarutobi Hiruzen take the blame, 
but Sarutobi Hiruzen threw it to Shimura Danzo, and Shimura Danzo threw it to Kakashi. I am really speechless. I had no intention of using nesting dolls, but the essence of the Naruto world is nesting dolls. This inexplicable incident really made Uchihai feel a little amused and helpless. Fortunately, I was standing on the top level, otherwise I would have been trapped by the nesting dolls. The next day, Heiju spread the news secretly. The news that the third Hokage framed Kakashi spread throughout Konoha. Because there are many foreign and foreign village delegations in Konoha, Sarutobi Hiruzen and his men have almost no control over public opinion. He could forbid the villagers from discussing the matter, but he could not forbid the members of the delegation. Kakashi returned to Konoha after completing the mission. It felt like everyone was looking at him with strange eyes, which made Kakashi confused. Kakashi, I heard that you were framed by the third Hokage. What's going on? My good friend Might Guy came to me and asked me about it as soon as possible. What, Kai what are you talking about? Upon hearing this, Kakashi looked confused. Kakashi, something like this has happened. How long do you want to keep it a secret? Now everyone knows. The third Hokage hosted a banquet for the delegation visiting Konoha last night. And they were asked to help identify the Six Paths Sage's great secret treasure. But when it came to the treasure appraisal, the Hokage said that you betrayed Konoha and ran away with the great secret treasure. But before long, you came back with a fake great secret treasure. After you learned that this was a trap, you exposed the third Hokage's plot to his face. So, what are you going to do now Kakashi? Might Guy didn't have any ulterior motives and didn't notice Kakashi's confused expression. He just kept talking to himself. This was the first time in his life that he had spoken so many words at once. Quote dot 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 quote. After a while, Kakashi finally figured out the whole thing from Might Guy's words. I couldn't help but feel a sense of fear and sadness. It turns out that the thing that the Hokage asked him to escort was actually a fake secret treasure of the Sage of Six Paths. This is a conspiracy against me. If the mysterious person had not intervened, I would probably be a traitor who stole the Six Paths Sage's great treasure. Not only will he be hunted by Konoha, but he will also have to face countless treasure hunters. Will I still be alive at that time? Obviously, the Konoha high-ranking officials want him to die. He he he, Kakashi smiled with a shaky face. For many things, before there are real results, Kakashi is really unwilling to make malicious speculations, Konoha Hokage. Therefore, even though there was no substantial evidence of his father's death, he remained loyal to Konoha and did not hesitate or doubt when asked to carry out ninja missions. But he was still treated like this. Kakashi's heart was completely chilled, and he was completely disappointed with the Konoha high-level officials. It was as if an unhealable rift had been opened between the two, and the relationship had completely broken down. K, okay, thank you for your concern. After figuring out some things, Kakashi's eyes suddenly became firm. He knew that he was weak and in a dangerous situation. Directly resisting the Konoha high-level officials would be tantamount to seeking one's own death. So, he decided to try to do something. If there is still no result in the end, then you can only choose that path. After the Kakashi incident, Sarutobi Hiruzen's popularity in Konoha plummeted, but his position remained strong. Then, keep feeding him. Hey hey hey, Ahuo, everything went according to plan, we can start the action now. Black Zetsu crawled out from the ground and sneered. Apart from his poor frontal combat capability, Black Zetsu's role is much greater than Uchiha Yi imagined. It's like a magical artifact. Unfortunately, this cooperation can only be temporary. Well done, when the events of that year are reproduced and happen to his own people. I wonder how Serutobi Hiruzen will deal with this time. Thinking of this, Uchiha Yi laughed maliciously. He chose not to let his original body take risks, so he created a shadow clone, put on the shell of White Zetsu, and used the Mayfly technique. Anyway, the disguise technique has been used, so Black Zetsu doesn't care about exposing one more person. After a while, Uchiha Yi's clone sneaked into the Sarutobi clan's territory and came to Asuma's residence. But at this time, Asuma was unconscious by Black Zetsu in some unknown way and was sleeping like a baby. Killing him would be easy. However, Asma is still useful to me now, so I cannot kill him yet. He left quietly with Asuma, and no one noticed anything unusual. Soon, 
Uchiha Yi's clone brought Asuma to the delegation's residence. Similarly, they were also knocked unconscious by Black Zetsu. Next, what needs to be done is much simpler. White Zetsu, take off their clothes and throw them together. Then, you put that thing, and then you do this, and this. Finally, sprinkle some more glue on it to prevent it from falling off. Under Uchiha Yi's command, White Zetsu completed every request step by step. At this point, it has become an art. A world-famous painting was born. Don't blame me, Serutobi. Who said we are enemies? Originally, this was not part of Uchiha Yi's plan. After all, it is extremely difficult to make the delegation members and asthma unconscious without alerting the enemy. At that time, Uchiha Yi only mentioned it to Black Zetsu. I didn't expect him to say he could do it. So, Uchiha Yi asked Black Zetsu to give it a try. If successful, it would disgust Serutobi Hiruzen. If the situation is more serious, Serutobi Hiruzen or Konoha may completely break off relations with other ninja villages. It's best to fight. The more people die, the stronger you become. Otherwise, why do you think Uchiha Yi made such a big fuss? What Uchiha Yi wants is not only revenge on the F4 clans of Konoha, but he also wants to involve the entire ninja world and let them fight with Konoha. And you can just sit back and reap the benefits. The idea is good, but the reality is much more complicated. This group of people had been in Konoha for quite some time, but they had remained restrained the entire time and had not caused any noise in Konoha. This obviously does not conform to Uchiha Yi's idea. So, today Uchiha Yi decided to give them a big surprise. I don't believe that they can still stay calm even after all this. The next morning, the sleeping people slowly wake up from their dreams and prepare to start a new day of work. However, when they walked out of the house, they heard noisy noises coming from outside. It is in human nature to love to join in the fun. Seeing something exciting happening, they seemed to have forgotten the purpose of their going out and all walked in one direction. From time to time, he would stretch his neck to see farther and look out. What? Look, Asuma, what is he doing? I can't believe it. I didn't expect that he would like to do this kind of thing while dating Hong. Oh my god. What on earth did I see? It's really eye-catching. Oh my god, is this the indescribable scene from the legend? I feel like my eyes are polluted and can never be clean. The scene that everyone saw was so horrifying that it couldn't be erased from their minds. Why does it feel so noisy? Are you going to give way to anyone? I don't know what method Black Zetsu used to make Asuma sleep until now. He is still in a daze and looks like he is just about to wake up. The scream that came from his ear made Asuma's face tighten. He felt very unhappy because someone disturbed his sweet dream. As the noise grew louder, Asuma finally became annoyed and forced his eyes open, wanting to reprimand these rude people. But the moment he opened his eyes, he saw a thin old man, shirtless, facing him and leaning in his arms. What the hell, who is this guy? A chill came over me. When did I end up sleeping with an old man? It's unlucky. Get out of the way. I'm afraid Hong will misunderstand. Thinking of this, Asuma reached out to push the other person away, but found that his hands were stuck to the other person's back and he couldn't break free for a while. Asma's struggle and twisting immediately made him feel something was wrong. It seems to be stuck. It seems that some bad taboo images come to mind. Instantly, Asuma regained consciousness. At this time, the old man in Asuma's arms also woke up. The next second, when their eyes met, they looked at each other, looked at their current appearance, and then looked at the surrounding situation. They immediately realized that something terrible was happening to them. How is this going? How could I? They are going crazy. Desperate to get away from the man in front of them, they started pushing each other. Because they were stuck together with glue, it was difficult to separate them, and because the movements were so large, it was like they were doing that kind of thing. The people around looked on and exclaimed in surprise again. I didn't expect that the son of the third Hokage is so shameless and has such a special hobby. He acts without regard for the occasion. It's really an eye-opener for me. The heated discussions and onlookers around them almost made Asuma and the others have a mental breakdown. If it happens privately, the problem can be solved. But the current situation is that countless people are watching. And they didn't even have a chance to cover their faces because their hands were stuck with glue. At this moment, they were completely embarrassed. 
don't even think about raising your head again for the rest of your life. Not long after, the Anbuvu came after hearing the news looked at the posture of the two people with a strange expression. He opened his mouth but stopped talking. Finally, the two were taken away by the Anbu. The people around still did not disperse. It was obvious that Asuma's behavior had shocked them too much. Hong, who arrived late, saw this scene from afar and was completely stunned. At the same time, she was secretly glad that she didn't choose to date Asuma so quickly, otherwise she would have been disgusted to death. The news that the third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan murdered Konoha's Tadayoshi Kakashi had just been revealed, and the scandal had not yet subsided. Immediately afterwards, the third Hokage's youngest son, Asuma, actually did such an immoral thing in public, which was simply challenging the moral bottom line of the Konoha villagers again and again. In an instant, the entire Konoha became the laughing stock of the entire ninja world, and the people of Konoha could no longer hold their heads up. It was hard for them to believe that their Hokage's family was actually this kind of people. For a long time, Many people in Konoha have had the same attitude towards the third Hokage as the crazy fans in their previous life had towards their idol brother. For example, 9 out of 10 students at Konoha Ninja School dream of becoming Hokage, and work hard to achieve it as their lifelong goal. This shows how great the influence of Serutobi Hiruzen is in Konoha. Before Serutobi Hiruzen's brother collapsed, they would not believe anything others said and would only blindly worship and support him. This also led to the fact that Uchihai used the attention brought by the killing of Konohamaru to directly expose many dark scandals of Konoha. But in the end, it still failed to cause any waves in Konoha. The situation was calmed down with just a few words from Serutobi Hiruzen, and after a few months, they returned to their peaceful life as if nothing had happened. Serutobi Hiruzen is still the good Hokage of their Konoha. After knowing the news, Uchihai naturally felt very unhappy. At that time, Uchiha Yi realized that in order to break Serutobi Hiruzen's golden body, he had to use some special means to gradually undermine his impression in the minds of the people of Konoha. Let Serutobi Hiruzen become a complete bug that everyone wants to kill. This Asuma scandal was widely publicized and became the new darling of the headlines of various news newspapers in the ninja world, with everyone competing to report on it. Some tabloids with no bottom line even risk defending Konoha by fabricating tens, hundreds, or even thousands of romantic stories about Asuma. He just stepped on Serutobi Hiruzen's entire face and rubbed it hard on the ground. A lot of negative information constantly breaks into the lives of the people of Konoha, and many people even see it with their own eyes, so it cannot be false. It finally caused everyone in Konoha to waver in their reputation and perception of brother Serutobi Hiruzen. This is why, even though Uchihai is already very powerful, he is still secretly doing things that seem redundant and meaningless to others. However, this is not enough. Oh, Serutobi Hiruzen, Yukonoha must give us Kumogakur an explanation. Otherwise, let's just start the war. Sitting in the Hokage's office, Dodai, the representative of Kumogakur, seemed to have completely lost his mind. Without caring about Serutobi Hiruzen's status as the Hokage, he slapped the table hard and roared. The thin man Doman who performed the world-famous painting scene with Asuma was one of the members of the delegation from their hidden cloud village visiting Konoha. After such an unbearable incident happened, not only did Konoha become the laughing stock of everyone, but they, Kumogakur, also suffered from all kinds of rumors, and they didn't know how many people were secretly laughing at them. The victim of the incident, Domon, a tall and strong man and a tough ninja from the Hidden Cloud Village, was deeply hurt because of this incident. She became like a little wife, hiding in her room, refusing to eat or drink, crying and shedding tears all day long. The team leader Dodai was so angry that he was about to burst into tears. Even though his status was not equal to that of the Hokage of Konoha, he still wanted to seek justice for his compatriots. Representative Dodai of Kumogakur, please calm down. There are so many strange things about this matter, don't you notice? We in Konoha have absolutely no intention of humiliating you, Kumogakur. Someone is secretly framing us in Konoha. Serutobi Hiruzen was overwhelmed and explained with a wry smile. He hasn't even appeased his son Asuma yet, and now he has to face the attack from the hidden cloud village. 
There was no doubt that the threat Dodai had just uttered was a sign that the Hidden Cloud Village was a group of muscle-brained barbarians who were always thinking about taking action against Konoha, and now this had given the Hidden Cloud Village an excuse. In order to avoid the outbreak of war, Sarutobi Hiruzen could only constantly lower his attitude to appease the other side. Stop talking nonsense. If you say someone framed me, then please find the person behind this within three days. Second, leave the facts alone. We from the Hidden Cloud Village are visiting Konoha in a friendly way. We come with good intentions and want to promote the relationship between the two villages and create a harmonious future together. But this happened on your Konoha's territory. Do you guys in Konoha really have no responsibility at all? Tutai still spoke in a very tough attitude. He also knew in his heart that Konoha might be the scapegoat. But he didn't want to care about so many things. What he wanted now was to make Konoha bleed heavily and gain more benefits. As for the mastermind behind this, they will definitely not let him go if they have a chance to find him. But now that we can't find the mastermind behind this, we can only point the finger at Konoha. Otherwise, if they do nothing, how will the outside world view their hidden cloud village, and how will they give an explanation to Domon, their own man? Please give us some time to discuss this matter. We will find out the mastermind as soon as possible. Sarutobi Hiruzen reluctantly agreed. In this matter, regardless of whether Konoha is taking the blame or not, on the surface, Konoha is the party at fault. Konoha must take the primary responsibility for this matter. This makes it impossible for Sarutobi Hiruzen to shirk this responsibility unless the real mastermind behind the incident is found out. But he knew that this matter was not that simple at all. It started with him killing a member of the Serutobi tribe in the street, then to Kakashi turning against him and, framing, him, and then to the Asuma incident. There is also the secret treasure of the Six Paths Sage. Connecting all these things together, Serutobi Hiruzen could vaguely feel that there was the same mastermind behind the scenes, controlling all of this. While feeling frightened, Serutobi Hiruzen also felt very powerless. It doesn't matter whether the enemy is strong or not. What's scary is that you don't even know who the enemy is. Who is this enemy that hates Konoha so much? After seeing Dodai off, Sarutobi Hiruzen stood up and walked to the windowsill, looking out at the bustling Konoha below. The bright moonlight shone on him, making him look lonely and depressed. However, before Sarutobi Hiruzen could express his feelings, an Anbu hurriedly appeared in the office. Hokage-sama is in trouble. Domon from the Kumogakur mission died in Asuma's room. What? After hearing the report from the Anbu, Sarutobi Hiruzen could no longer remain calm. Just when the Earth platform was calmed down, something happened again. Now, he didn't know how to deal with this situation. And this scene also made Sarutobi Hiruzen feel like deja vu. Sarutobi Hiruzen arrived late at the scene. At this time, there were already many people gathered here. At a glance, Sarutobi Hiruzen looked a little surprised. The patriarchs of the Ino, Deer and Cho clans, and the patriarch of the Hyuga clan, Hyuga Hiyashi, actually also liked to join in the fun. In addition, Kakashi also showed up. Kakashi and Might Guy were standing together, indifferent to Sarutobi Hiruzen's arrival, as if they didn't see him at all. The previous events have brought the relationship between Kakashi and Sarutobi Hiruzen to a freezing point, to the point where it can even be described as hatred. There was no way Kakashi would continue to be loyal to someone who wanted to murder him. The main reason why I still stay in Konoha is that I want to do something to change all this. And Sarutobi Hiruzen probably realized that he was the one who made the mistake, and he was too embarrassed to officially declare that Kakashi was a traitor of Konoha. Otherwise, if he really did that, I'm afraid no one in the entire Konoha would dare to believe in him, Sarutobi Hiruzen, as the Hokage. As a result, Kakashi's current situation in Konoha has become extremely special. He is both a ninja of Konoha and a rebel ninja of Konoha. Probably wavering between the two. Kakashi has not been idle these days. Since he intends to do something, he will definitely take action. So he began to visit various families in Konoha, but no one knew what they talked about. Today, Kakashi had planned to visit some target families. But I didn't expect to encounter the murder of the Cloud Hidden Mission. In his impression, there seemed to be such an incident, which seemed familiar. It seems that the incident is related to the Hyuga clan. 
Thinking of this, Kakashi enthusiastically invited Hayuga Hiyashi, Ino Shikacho and others to come. Let's witness together how Serutobi Hiruzen will deal with this matter. Serutobi Hiruzen, who had long been confused by all the blame, became a little unclear in his mind and had no idea that this was a conspiracy designed for him. It is exactly the replica of the death of Hayuga Hazashi, carefully restored by Uchiha Yi. Back then, the delegation from the Hidden Cloud Village took the opportunity to try to seize the Byakugan from the Hayuga clan under the guise of a visit, but failed. So, he was sent to die under the palm of Hanada Hiruzen. Then, regarding this matter, the Hidden Cloud Village threatened to use war and attacked Konoha. And you, Serutobi Hiruzen, chose to be a ninja turtle and kept persuading the Hayuga clan to hand over the murderer. Under pressure from all sides, Hayuga Hiyashi's younger brother, Hayuga Hazashi, chose to die for his brother. So, what choice will you make now that what is happening to your son Asuma, Serutobi Hiruzen? If you protect your son Asuma, it would be an insult and persecution to the Hayuga clan. If he chose to hand over the murderer Asuma, it would be tantamount to letting Serutobi Hiruzen kill his son with his own hands. By the way, let's compare his feelings. What is the difference between Uchiha Itachi killing his parents and him killing his own children? Serutobi Hiruzen, who was unaware of this, arrived at the scene and carefully examined the cause of Domon's death, trying to find clues. And with the help of Black Zetsu, the thousand-year-old villain, Uchiha Yi will not leave any handle at all. In this way, Serutobi Hiruzen checked again and again under everyone's attention. The final result was still nothing. This made Serutobi Hiruzen feel unprecedented pressure, but he had not yet realized the true pressure. The Cloud Hidden Terrace, there are too many suspicious points in this matter. I need more time to find out the truth. Serutobi Hiruzen looked at the sad and angry Dodai, his head was buzzing and he felt a real headache. It took him a while to organize his words and speak. And then, the murderer is obviously your son, Asuma. He was holding a grudge against the previous incident, so he killed someone. Now that the evidence is irrefutable, what else do you have to quibble about? Do you still want to shirk responsibility and protect your son? Tutai roared excitedly. He insisted that Asma was the murderer, and even if he was not, he must be identified as the murderer. Otherwise, follow Serutobi Hiruzen's words and find the real murderer. What if you can't find it, should you just keep putting it off? Then it keeps dragging on and on, and in the end nothing is done. As the strategist of the Hidden Cloud Village, Dodai was able to think clearly about the key issues of this issue at once. Tumin is dead, no matter who killed him, it is irreversible. The only solution now is to maximize the benefits and minimize the losses through Tumin's death. Otherwise, he led a delegation to visit Konoha, someone died, and in the end he got nothing. It goes without saying that once he returns to the Hidden Cloud Village, he will definitely be sent to a military court and spend the rest of his life in prison. Therefore, he must take this opportunity to gain more benefits and mitigate his mistakes. This, when he thought that Dodai would say this, Serutobi Hiruzen was completely stunned. In the absence of any other relevant evidence, all the evidence points to his son, Asma. In everyone's eyes, Asuma is the murderer of Domon. This is something that Serutobi Hiruzen cannot refute at the moment. But no matter what, this is his son, and he will definitely not let anything happen to him. Now that this has happened, what kind of explanation does the Kumovikar Dodai want from us, Konoha? Seeing that there was no way to get Asuma out of this situation, Serutobi Hiruzen frowned and spoke in a tougher tone. I'll give you three choices. First, immediately hand over the murderer Asuma and avenge Domon. Second, you and Konoha need to provide ten pairs of Byakugan as compensation. Third, there's nothing more to say. Let's just start the fight. The Tutai lion replied with a big mouth. What? The people of Konoha around were completely dumbfounded when they heard this. Could Union make such an absurd request? Where are their faces? Do you think we in Konoha are easy to bully? If you want to fight, then fight. Who's afraid of who? This is the voice of many Konoha people. In their opinion, being forced by the Hidden Cloud Village is a shame. They would rather die standing on the battlefield than kneel down and beg for peace from the Hidden Cloud Village. What a pity that their Hokage Serutobi Hiruzen could not see or feel the thoughts of the people of Konoha at all. After listening to all of Dodai's requests, 
Sarutobi Hiruzen hesitated subconsciously. Obviously, he couldn't agree to the first option. No matter who died, his son couldn't die. Third, given Konoha's current situation, it doesn't dare to fight the Hidden Cloud Village. Once a fight breaks out, Konoha will have to guard against other ninja villages getting involved. In short, Sarutobi Hiruzen had ruled out this option in his mind. As for the second option left, Sarutobi Hiruzen was vaguely tempted. And many more, I have something to say. At this moment, a little boy walked out from the Hyuga clan. It was Uchihayi who had the face of Hyuga Neji. Seeing Sarutobi Hiruzen's hesitant expression, I immediately knew what was in his mind. He simply wanted to continue his old will of fire, appeal to people's emotions and reason, and persuade the Hyuga clan to surrender their Byakugan for Konoha, calm the anger of the Hidden Cloud Village, and avoid war. Although handing over ten pairs of Byakugan is simply impossible, but with one or two pairs of Byakugan, and using the identity of Hokage, he can promise some benefits to the Hyuga clan. This is the bottom line that the spineless people in the Hyuga clan might agree to. If I don't show up, the final result may turn out to be like that. This was obviously not the result that Uchihayi wanted to see. So, he must stand up. And Hayuga Neji's identity is very consistent with what I am going to say next. Everyone turned to look at Hayuga Neji and showed surprise. Basically many people know Neji, the little genius of the Hayuga clan. I just don't understand what Ningji is going to do at this time. This involves the relationship between the two major ninja villages, it is not something a little kid like you can comment on. Although no one understood, no one spoke out to stop it. Because in their eyes, a genius naturally wants to show off in front of everyone, to demonstrate his uniqueness, so as to attract the attention of others. They understand, after all, who wasn't a genius back then. Oh, little Neji from the Hyuga family, I wonder what you want to say. Sarutobi Hiruzen also found it interesting and asked with a smile. All eyes were on him, but, Ningji, showed no fear on his face. This calm and composed attitude is admired by many people. They kept whispering to each other and saying words of praise for, Ningji. Hearing this, Hayuga Hiyashi and the people of the Hayuga clan felt elated and their faces were filled with pride. Two words, comfortable, more please. I think that the culprit, Asuma, should be handed over to the Hidden Cloud Village for punishment. Ningji, said directly without any extra words. Ga. When these words were spoken, everyone present was dumbfounded, their mouths opened wide. Is there anyone in the Hyuga clan who speaks like you? Although Serutobi Hiruzen's prestige as Hokage is not as high as before. But you can't do this and offend the Hokage to death. Why do you say that? With a slight smile. Sarutobi Hiruzen asked. He looked like he didn't care, but people who knew him well knew. He, Sarutobi Hiruzen, was angry. Because Grandpa Hokage always tells us. Wherever the leaves are flying, the fire will continue to grow. The fire will continue to illuminate the village and make new leaves sprout. Asuma, as the person involved in this incident and a Jonan of Konoha, isn't it his duty to pay the price now that Konoha is in trouble? You see, Sacrificing Asuma alone can prevent a war from happening and save many lives. Isn't this an obvious thing? Ningji, answered on his own, as if he hadn't seen it. After saying this, he looked at the people around him with innocent eyes, but no one dared to look at him and they all dodged. When he looked at Kakashi, Kakashi was stunned for a moment, then slowly agreed, I think what Neji said makes sense. I believe in Kakashi. Might Guy was also very friendly and offered his support to Kakashi. The rest of the people simply choose to be ostriches. Uchihayi had already anticipated this. I don't expect these fence sitters to be of any use. Now with the support of Kakashi and Might Guy, the situation is obviously better. Oh, then according to what little Neji said, why was it Asuma who sacrificed instead of your Hyuga clan? As long as you, the Hyuga clan, pay ten pairs of Byakugan, you don't have to lose your life at all, and you can resolve everything in front of you. Isn't this better than sacrificing the lives of Konoha ninjas? Sarutobi Hiruzen's face remained calm as he quickly retorted. After these words were spoken, the people present could not help but fall into deep thought, as if they felt that it made a lot of sense. What an old fox, not easy to deal with at all. In the ninja world, 
the average cultural level of an elementary school student is lower than that of a primary school student, and they simply cannot distinguish between right and wrong in many matters. After hearing what Sarutobi Hirazan said, they could only be led by this distorted idea. Then may I ask Hokage-sama, why should our Hyuga clan pay for your son's mistakes? According to what you just said, if we surrender our white eyes, no one will be sacrificed. As the Hokage, don't you know the importance of the Byakugan? Don't you know the consequences of letting your enemy have Byakugan? Once the enemy acquires the Byakugan ability, the casualties it will bring to Konoha will be incalculable. Can't Lord Hokage figure out this account? Compared to that, now you only need to sacrifice your son. In the face of Serutobi Hirazan's sophistry, Ningji responded with a calm expression. Quote dot 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 quote. After being refuted by Uchiha Yi again, Serutobi Hirazan paused for a moment and began to realize that Ningji was not as difficult to deal with as his age seemed. No, we were wrong from the start. To be precise, little Neji, your understanding of the will of fire is wrong. The meaning of the will of fire is that young people are the hope of the future, and the older generation must trust and protect them. The sacrifices of the older generation are not meaningless, but will inspire the young people to become the pillars of the future. And we were just discussing sacrificing Asuma in exchange for peace. This itself is not the will of fire that we in Konoha want. So, we in Konoha will not sacrifice anyone. They are from the Hidden Cloud Village, so let them fight if they want. We in Konoha are never afraid of any enemy. From the first Hokage to now, it is still the same. Serutobi Hirazan was silent for a moment, then spoke. Directly overturns the previous, Ningji, sacrificial version of the will of fire and re-explains its true meaning. However, what he said was exactly what Uchiha Yi wanted to hear. There was a smile on his lips, and his calm expression never changed from beginning to end. He he he, Hokage-sama, that's very well said. If I had this awareness back then, my father Hayuga Hazashi wouldn't have died. I remember my father's situation back then. It was pretty much the same as it is now. Then why did Hokage choose to sacrifice my father in exchange for peace? Didn't you just say that the meaning of the will of fire is to protect all the people of Konoha? Isn't my father from Konoha? Only people from your Serutobi clan belong to Konoha. In other words, the so-called Konoha village is actually Serutobi village. Others can sacrifice, but your Serutobi family can't. Who is this will of fire protecting? If that's the case, I'm so sorry. It's impossible to surrender your eyes. Start a war. We, the Hyuga clan, will never participate in it. When the time comes, if Konoha can no longer defeat them, we will simply surrender to the enemy. The remaining options, Hokage-sama, you decide for yourself. At this point, it's basically no different from a falling out. Ningji became even more unscrupulous and directly brought up what happened to Hayuga Hazashi back then, letting everyone see what kind of person Serutobi Hirazan really has. Just tear off Serutobi Hirazan's hypocritical face, leaving it bloody, so that everyone can see it clearly. Chapter 71 Ningji, he, ah, Hanada Hiyashi opened his mouth, hesitated, and finally did not speak. To a large extent, he felt that he owed the Hazashi father and son too much. Under this psychological effect, he, as the patriarch of the Hyuga clan, acted as a bystander throughout the whole process. They allowed, Ningji, to represent the Hyuga clan and, do whatever he wants, here, saying many treasonous words, but they never stopped him. Of course, the more fundamental reason is that Serutobi Hirazan actually changed his attitude towards this matter. He kept saying that Konoha could not withstand the war, so he forced his younger brother Hazashi to take the blame and die for him to appease the anger of the Hidden Cloud Village in exchange for peace in Konoha. Now, it's your son's turn, but he keeps saying that Konoha is not afraid of war. Back then, you didn't dare to fight when Uchiha was around, but now that Uchiha is gone, you dare to fight. How dare you, Serutobi Hirazan, say such things? Screw your will of fire, love whoever you want. Hayuga Hiyashi, who has always acted weak and incompetent, showed some toughness at this moment after seeing the true face of Serutobi Hirazan. Facing the gaze from Serutobi Hirazan, he gave him a sneering and sarcastic expression. You can figure out what that means yourself. Seeing that Hanada Hiyashi ignored his doubts and stood firmly on the side of Ningji. 
Sarutobi Hiruzen knew that there was no possibility of winning over Hyuga Hiyashi anymore, and everyone knew the specific reason. In an instant, Sarutobi Hiruzen's eyes narrowed into slits and his expression became extremely cold. Then he looked towards the direction of the leaders of the Ino, Deer, and Cho clans. Their choices were also very important to Sarutobi Hiruzen. Seeing this, Nara Shikaku, the representative of the Ino, Deer, and Chao clans, had a helpless expression on his face and kept muttering to himself that if he had known things would be so troublesome, he would not have come to join in the fun. But in the current situation, Nara Shikaku could no longer escape. Now that things have come to this, who can stay out of it? Everyone in Konoha needs to express their stance. We, the Ino, Shika and Cho clans, always firmly support the Hokage of Konoha. But we won't get involved in anything else. Nara Shikaku took a few seconds to organize his thoughts and spoke slowly. After hearing this, Sarutobi Hiruzen showed a satisfied smile, but after thinking about it for a while and understanding Nara Shikaku's hidden meaning, his expression changed again. Someone just said that the current Konoha is Sarutobi's Konoha. In other words, it's the Hokage called Sarutobi, not the Hokage of Konoha. So, he, Sarutobi Hiruzen Hokage, is no longer worthy of the support of their three clans. Is this what Nara Shikaku meant by this sentence? It seems like he said it, but it also seems like he didn't. This ambiguous attitude also makes many people feel unhappy. After all, no one likes people who are not firm in their stands. For a moment, Sarutobi Hiruzen was confused about the attitudes of the Ino, Deer, and Cho clans. Old man, why is it so lively here? Just then, a strange voice came from outside the crowd. Before everyone could react, they saw a figure appear next to Sarutobi Hiruzen. He is tall, wearing a forehead protector with the word, oil, written on it, and has long white hair that reaches his waist. It's Jiraiya, that's Jiraiya, one of the three ninjas. I didn't expect that he would come back at this time. When everyone saw his face clearly, many people exclaimed in surprise. What's going on, old man? Why are there so many people gathered here? After Jiraiya appeared, he ignored the cheers of the people around him, but looked at Sarutobi Hiruzen solemnly and asked. In fact, he already knew everything that happened and what happened in advance, and his purpose of appearing at this time was self-evident. Old dog Sarutobi, you really have a good disciple. As such that, as if sensing Jiraiya's intention, Sarutobi Hiruzen immediately put on an aggrieved and bitter face and recounted the story. It seems as if he is the victim and everyone around him is the perpetrator. It also made the people of Konoha around feel a little weird. I see, since Asuma is not the murderer, then this matter needs to be considered carefully. Find the real murderer, what do you think? Jiraiya pretended to listen carefully to Sarutobi Hiruzen's retelling, then spoke in a businesslike manner. No. If it is like this, then on behalf of the Hyuga clan, I will immediately leave Konoha and join the Hidden Rain village. Jiraiya, what do you think of my decision? I saw through Jiraiya's little tricks early on. He just wanted to buy time for Sarutobi Hiruzen. Do you really think he was solving the problem? Ningji, naturally couldn't satisfy them, nor did he want to continue playing any word games with them, so he expressed it very directly. Chief Hyuga Hiyashi, is this what your Hyuga clan wants? Jiraiya did not respond to Ningji, but looked at Hyuga Hiyashi and questioned. In his opinion, Nechi was obviously not qualified to represent the Hyuga clan, so naturally, what Nechi said should not be taken too seriously. What I care about is what Hanada Hiyashi's attitude is now. I, Hanada Hiyashi is also very confused now. He didn't expect that things would develop to the point where he has no choice. If they deny what, Ningji, said, their days in Konoha will definitely be difficult in the future. It is even possible that he will be monitored around the clock by the ninjas of the Konoha Anbu like the Uchiha before. And perhaps the tragedy of the Uchiha clan will be repeated on the Hyuga clan. If they agreed to, Ningji, then what should the Hyuga clan do? Can he escape from Konoha successfully? Is the Hidden Rain Village a good choice? Uncle Rizu, please trust my choice. Just when Hayuga Hiyashi was becoming a little overwhelmed, the voice of Ningji slowly came over. This more or less gave Hanada Hiyashi some confidence. Think again about Ningji's performance just now. 
He was calm and composed throughout the whole process, and his speech was logical and orderly, just like a great man. He even gained the upper hand in the conversation with Sarutobi Hirazan. It can be seen that, Ningji, has extraordinary talent in this area and is a rare genius in the Hyuga clan. With such a keen sense of smell, why not trust Ningki once? After this thought came to mind, Hanada Hiyashi's entire temperament changed drastically in a short period of time. Become less cautious and less timid. He believed that such a talented, Ningji, would definitely lead the Hyuga clan to regain their glory. This is not Konoha village, this is Serutobi village. We have no choice. From now on, Neji's decision is mine. Hanada Hiyashi's words were like a decisive blow, shocking everyone present so much that they were speechless. This news is so explosive. From the establishment of the ninja village era to the present, I have never heard of any ninja clan in a ninja village wanting to leave the village. Even when countries and villages were destroyed, such a phenomenon has never occurred. And at this moment, they were witnessing that the Hyuga clan, one of Konoha's powerful families, was leaving Konoha. Is the world crazy, or are they crazy? Do not. The people of Konoha are crazy. Almost everyone present at the scene knew the whole story. It is precisely because of this understanding that people can't help but take a deep breath. The people in Konoha's upper echelons are really not good people. He actually forced Hanada to no longer be able to stay in Konoha and directly expressed her desire to leave. Even dogs would shake their heads when seeing this kind of behavior. This Konoha is hopeless, different from the gloating of outsiders. As a person from Konoha, I feel extremely confused and lost at this moment. I don't understand why things suddenly turned out like this. Konoha lost the Senju, lost the Uchiha, and now is about to lose the Hyuga. May I ask, what will Konoha use to compete with the other four major ninja villages in the future? It is basically foreseeable what measures other ninja villages will take against Konoha after the spies from various villages in Konoha spread this news. What kind of pressure will Konoha face? An atmosphere of despair began to spread rapidly around. Even Zhu Ludai and the others showed pessimism. What should they choose next? After being a fence-sitter for so long, I now don't know which side to lean towards. Jiraiya, who didn't have much political acumen to begin with, was now completely confused and had no idea what to do next. First of all, he is not the Hokage, so he has no right to ask Hanada to do this or that. Secondly, this is a conflict between Hanada and Serutobi Hiruzen. Although he intervened, the fundamental problem was not solved. So, if Hanada is allowed to stay, how can this conflict be resolved? If it cannot be resolved, it will always be a hidden danger for Konoha. And after letting the Hyuga leave and the Uchiha clan being exterminated, Konoha has yet to fully recover. As a result, its strength was greatly reduced, and it was basically about to fall out of the list of the five major ninja villages. This is also a situation that Jiraiya does not want to see. Jiraiya also did not know the reincarnations of Ashura and Indra. The only high-end combat force left is Jiraiya, Tsunade is no longer capable due to her hemophobia. Serutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo are old and their fighting ability is okay, but not durable. The Root Anbu does not have many outstanding talents, and the few who are there can only be regarded as elite Janin. Orochimaru Rebels, Pig, Deer and Butterfly are suitable for group battles and can barely be considered as a general high-end combat force. Kakashi, alienated from Konoha. The Nine Tails Jinchuriki is too young to be of great use. Only a few people can be counted for their fighting power. So, Jiraiya would think so. Ah, if it was my fault that caused your Hyuga clan to resent me and force you to make this choice. Then I solemnly apologize to you. If you are still not satisfied, I will resign from the position of Hokage immediately and Jiraiya will be the fifth Hokage. What do you think of Hyuga's Neji? As pressure came from all sides, Jiraiya's appearance still failed to solve the problem. Serutobi Hiruzen also knew that the cause of this incident was himself. Then, his old face showed a haggard look, and he spoke to, Ningji, in a pleading tone. Seeing the third Hokage's vulnerable side, many people present suddenly softened their hearts and wanted to forgive him. I couldn't help but wonder, are we asking too much of the third Hokage? Hey, Uchiha Yi was disgusted by this man again. 
I also realized again that Sarutobi Hiruzen's extraordinary political tactics simply made everyone go around in circles, and their positions always wavered with the words he said. You think others are at a disadvantage, but they can turn the situation around in an instant. Are you angry? It's a pity that I just showed the whole truth to everyone. Now, just because of two or three words from Sarutobi Hiruzen, many people appeared again, and felt pity for Sarutobi Hiruzen after hearing and seeing his posture. For a moment, Uchiha Yi really wanted to start a fire and burn down this garbage Konoha. It's all brainless stuff. However, Uchiha Yi still restrained himself. Once he was impulsive, he would completely turn into a clown and become a stepping stone for the old dog Sarutobi Hiruzen. So, don't panic when something happens, and always remember that you are a good person, not a villain. Hokage sama, what are you talking about? It's as if we are the bad guys. We, the Hyuga clan, have never resented you. We have been discussing the matter objectively from the beginning to the end. Please don't distort the facts, Hokage. What we just said was that dealing with Asuma would calm the anger of the hidden cloud village and avoid war. It would be fine if Uchiha was there, at least he wouldn't lose. But if we have to fight now, these old, weak and sick people left in Konoha won't be able to win. So, our Hyuga clan just chose to preserve the bloodline heritage. Is that wrong? So I became a bad guy in the eyes of Hokage-sama. My father was willing to sacrifice for Konoha, so why is it that Asuma is unable to do so? Ningji quickly shook his head and retorted, continuing to carry Asuma out to warm him by the fire. It's just passing the buck. Who doesn't do that these days? Are you trying to portray me as a bad guy and set a trap for me? I'm sorry, I always think I'm a good person, and being a bad guy is not my personality. Quote dot 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 quote. After hearing the answer from, Ningji, Sarutobi Hiruzen began to feel helpless. Indeed, in the whole incident, the only person who could solve the problem was Asma. Not the Hyuga clan. The Hyuga clan is at most just fanning the flames because of some personal grudges, but they are not the crux of the problem. If the hidden cloud village is angered, a war will break out. Even if the Hyuga clan is willing to join the war, the outcome is difficult to predict. Even if they can win, it will be a Pyrrhic victory. How many people will be able to survive in Konoha by then? Therefore, the Hyuga clan's decision to leave Konoha was naturally an understandable one. And if you want to calm the anger of the hidden cloud village, you need the Byakugan. This obviously touched the bottom line of the Hyuga clan, and coupled with some old issues, it further eliminated the possibility of the Hyuga clan helping. So, in the end, there was only one path he could choose. Thinking of this, Sarutobi Hiruzen felt extremely sad and regretful. Is it really the case that there is no other choice? Son, or a village, would the situation have been much better if the Uchiha and Senju clans had not been exterminated? These questions began to appear repeatedly in Sarutobi Hiruzen's mind. Unfortunately, there is no regret medicine like, if, in this world, whatever cause you sow, you will reap. The cycle of nature has always been like this. Yes, the key to whether war can be avoided lies in asthma. Hanada is just saying this because you, Sarutobi Hiruzen, did things that were not kind in the past. You can't blame others for the Hanada's unwillingness to help. The Hanada doesn't owe your Sarutobi family anything. Instead, it is you, Sarutobi Hiruzen, who owes the Hanada. In addition, given Konoha's current situation, it does not have the ability to fight back. It makes sense that Hanada, who has been disappointed by Konoha, would want to leave Konoha. So, to sum up, the only way to save Konoha is to kill Asuma and calm the anger of the hidden cloud village. After, Ningji's, words once again reversed the logic of the incident, everyone's eyes turned to Sarutobi Hiruzen. Konoha, still a son. Whether you, Sarutobi Hiruzen, are the Hokage of Konoha or the Hokage of Sarutobi, it depends on your choice. Undoubtedly, what Konoha will become in the end depends entirely on Sarutobi Hiruzen's answer. If he chooses to become the Hokage of Konoha, he must kill Asuma and avoid war. If you choose to become Serutobi's Hokage, you will have to forcefully protect Asuma in front of everyone. Then, Hanada will leave Konoha, and Ino Shikacho will most likely do the same. The choices of these families will also lead some small and medium-sized families to leave Konoha. By then, 
Konoha will inevitably fall apart and lose its former glory. Over time, it will turn into the dust of history. I am the third Hokage of Konoha. If I'm willing to sacrifice Asuma, will you Hayuga not leave Konoha? Serutobi Hiruzen, who had been silent for a long time, slowly raised his head and looked at Ningji. He seemed to have made some decision in his heart, and a low voice came out of his mouth. Of course, Ningji answered without hesitation, patting his chest with a bright smile on his face. It is good. After saying that, Sarutobi Hiruzen quickly pulled out a kunai from the Hokage guard beside him, turned his head and looked at Asuma with complicated eyes. Father, I believe in your choice. Asuma showed no fear or terror at all, and smiled with a look of relief on his face. In the few seconds that the father and son looked at each other, time seemed to have traveled through thousands of mountains and rivers and returned to Asma's childhood. At that time, his father Serutobi Hiruzen was not so busy as the Hokage. He spent a lot of time with him every day and began to teach him ninjutsu. At that time, Asuma felt that his father was the most powerful Hokage in the world, and his eyes were full of admiration and respect. Later, as he grew up, he gradually became rebellious. His relationship with his father Serutobi Hiruzen also became increasingly distant. Whenever we meet, we always quarrel for some unknown reason. I think my stubborn father is unable to understand my dreams and pursuits. So, he became one of the twelve guardian ninja. After that, pff'd, with tears in his eyes, Serutobi Hiruzen thrust his kunai into Asuma's chest in extreme pain. Blood gushed out and splashed onto his face. I watched Asuma's body slowly lose temperature and finally turned into a corpse. Asuma's memory finally stopped at that day. He hugged a man he didn't know. There were also a lot of people watching and staring at me, pointing and talking about me. His mind was filled with unbearable memories. Now that he is about to die, why should he be reminded of this horrible nightmare? Oh, if I died now, does that count as committing suicide for love with that man? If this is the case, then after I die, won't I still be able to let others criticize the story of my forbidden love with this man? Ah, in this case, does it count as Asuma committing suicide for love with Mr. Domon? Asuma heard this joke on his deathbed. The hope that others wouldn't think of this was shattered in an instant. You can tell with your ass that this will evolve into countless versions of the story. In the end, Asuma's eyes were wide open, his face full of fear, and he died with his eyes open. When the living people heard Ningji's words, they couldn't help but think of certain images and couldn't help laughing. Only Serutobi Hiruzen lowered his head, as if he was in pain. Oops, Hokage-sama, you acted too quickly. I haven't finished what I was going to say just now. Asuma had just died, and Serutobi Hiruzen's grief had not yet subsided when he shouted, Ningji. What? Serutobi Hiruzen frowned his eyes revealing confusion, and he felt something was wrong. What I just wanted to say is that our Hyuga clan must of course leave Konoha. After all, Hokage-sama, you even killed your own son. Not to mention us who have nothing to do with you. We don't want us Hyuga to end up like the Uchiha and Senju clans one day. The Hokage-sama has wiped out all but a few cats and dogs. Neji put on an innocent look and explained sincerely. Puff, I. Serutobi Hiruzen was so angry that he spat out a mouthful of blood. The moment the body becomes unstable and tilts, Jiraiya quickly supported Serutobi Hiruzen and looked at Ningji with hostility. When Serutobi Hiruzen attacked Asuma, it had already crossed Jiraiya's bottom line, but he had no way or reason to intervene. This caused him to feel a nameless anger in his heart that he was always holding back. Now, he sees his teacher Serutobi Hiruzen, who made great sacrifices, being deceived like this. How could Jiraiya not have any reaction at all? Jiraiya didn't even notice that there was some murderous intent in the hostility contained in it. It can be seen how much hatred, Ningji, has now. Serutobi Hiruzen broke free from Jiraiya's support and slowly stood up. He looked weak and dispirited, as if he had just recovered from a serious illness, and his face was pale. The look he gave, Ningji, became extremely fierce and vicious. Serutobi Hiruzen made such great sacrifices and compromises just to retain the Hanada clan, preserve Konoha's strength, and calm the anger of the Hidden Cloud village. Now I have even killed my son, and you tell me that you still want to leave. Kidding me, 
So, your Hyuga clan still has this choice. Taking a forced breath, Sarutobi Hiruzen asked calmly. Yeah, what's the problem? Neji chuckled, not seeming to notice the look in the other's eyes that wanted to kill him. In that case, then I declare as the Hokage of Konoha that the Hyuga clan has betrayed Konoha. All of them will be treated as traitors. Execute now. Obviously, Ningji's deception completely angered Sarutobi Hiruzen. Without any hesitation, he revealed his cards directly. As soon as he finished speaking, many masked and black-robed figures suddenly appeared behind Sarutobi Hiruzen. After a rough count, I estimated that there are several thousand ninjas, most of whom are at the Chunin level or above. Hiss, is this our Konoha's ninja? When did we have so many ninjas in Konoha? The people of Konoha around looked at this group of unfamiliar Konoha ninjas and exclaimed in amazement. So many ninjas, are they all from Konoha? Looking at Sarutobi Hiruzen, there were thousands of ninjas standing behind him, and all of them were at the level of Chunin. Not only the people of Konoha, but also the spies from other ninja villages were shocked. It's not that these ninjas are so powerful, but what's surprising is that they are unknown, appeared so suddenly, and there are so many of them. Third Hokage, are these all ninjas from your Sarutobi family? Ningji, asked in great, shock. In fact, I feel very calm. With the intelligence support from Black Zetsu, he knew about the existence of these people early on. It was Uchiha Yi's intention to lure them out at this time. It took repeated pressure on Sarutobi Hiruzen to force him to reveal his trump card. Otherwise, the Hyuga clan would be able to leave Konoha smoothly, and Sarutobi Hiruzen, the current Hokage, would be completely helpless. Once the news got out, it would show how incompetent and what a failure he was as the Hokage. Besides, people in Konoha are in a state of unrest and many people are beginning to feel insecure. Without the injection of cardiac stimulant, Konoha was doomed to fall apart. Therefore, Uchiha Yi also calculated this point of Sarutobi Hiruzen and took every step carefully. Now it seems that the plan was successful. Otherwise, it would be a hassle in the end to destroy one wave and hide another, and the cunning rabbit would have three burrows. That's right. At this point, Sarutobi Hiruzen's disguise has almost been exposed, and there is no need to hide the remaining secrets any longer. At this moment, Konoha needs a little confidence. When these words were spoken, it was exactly what Sarutobi Hiruzen had expected. Many people in Konoha immediately relaxed their hearts, which had just been tense. Although this incident exposed Sarutobi Hiruzen's hypocritical character. But after all, Konoha is where some of them have lived for most of their lives. How can they just leave and make a decision so easily? Their hearts still belong to Konoha. Uchiha Yi didn't care about this. Being able to persuade the Hyuga clan to leave Konoha and greatly weaken Konoha's strength was already a great success. They are just some small fish and shrimps. Uchiha Yi doesn't even look at them and doesn't have the time to spend on them. Where are you, the pig, deer, and butterfly tribes? Are you planning on leaving with us Hyuga, or will you stay in Konoha? Ningji, asked curiously, looking at Ino Shika Cho. Quote dot 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 quote. This question seems simple, but it still stumped Nara Shikaku. He was very disappointed with Konoha, but he couldn't understand the future of Hanada choosing to join the Hidden Rain Village at all. After thinking for a long time, Nara Shikaku was completely unable to give an answer and could only pretend that he was deaf and heard nothing. Kakashi what about you? Do you want to come together? Without waiting for Nara Shikaku's answer, Ningji automatically assumed that Ino Shika Cho chose Konoha, and there was nothing more to say. He turned to look at Kakashi and asked, Ah, I never thought that my father, my teacher, my mistress, Lin, the village they protected with their lives would be like this. Kakashi sighed with infinite emotion, and was completely lost in memories. Stop talking, don't talk like everyone has a dead father. Just tell me your answer. Ningji, was too lazy to waste time with him and started to retort. Cough, cough, cough. I'll go with you. As soon as the tough speech came out, Kakashi's emotions were instantly stuck and a little incoherent, causing his breathing to become unstable and he started coughing violently. After a while, Kakashi calmed down and expressed his attitude directly. Kai, you are different from me. It's best for you to stay in Konoha. Then, Kakashi looked at his good friend Might Guy and gave him advice. His own situation was different from Kai's. 
The road ahead was unclear, and he really didn't want Kai to follow him into the adventure. Yoshi. My dear friend Kakashi, I trust your decision. My youth will burn again. Hearing this, Might Guy gave a thumbs up and replied, showing off his big white teeth. All right, everyone who has decided to leave Konoha is here. Now in the name of Konoha Hokage, I declare it again. The Hyuga clan and Hitaki Kakashi have betrayed Konoha and are directly listed as traitors of Konoha. All Konoha ninjas, immediately hunt down the traitorous ninjas of Konoha. Sarutobi Hirazan just watched, Ningji, pulling people in quietly and remained unmoved. This is a good opportunity to clean up these cancers of Konoha. Without these obstacles, Konoha will only become more prosperous under the leadership of their Sarutobi clan. After hearing the Hokage's order, all the people from Konoha around drew their weapons with hesitation, ready to attack at any time. People from other villages knew that they were only there to gather information and their strength was not up to par. They were not qualified to participate in Konoha's civil war and retreated far away. For a moment, the situation became tense. Even Hyuga Hiyashi's expression became very solemn, and he signaled his tribesmen to stick together to avoid being defeated one by one. Judging from the current situation, Sarutobi Hirazan undoubtedly has the upper hand. It would be extremely difficult for the Hyuga clan to leave Konoha. If we fight hard, neither side will have a good result. However, Hanada Hiyashi noticed a special phenomenon. From beginning to end, Ningji, never panicked, and his face remained unusually calm. Maybe, Ningji, also has a trump card that he hasn't played yet. Otherwise, why did he say at the beginning that he would leave Konoha and join the Hidden Rain Village? Could it be that the demigod Hanzo from the Hidden Rain Village is here too? If this is the case, their apparent strength is almost comparable to that of Sarutobi Hirazan. And when the two are evenly matched, would Sarutobi Hirazan still dare to take action? Thinking of this, Hanada Hiyashi's heart was suddenly filled with confidence. The advantage is mine, don't panic. Ha ha ha, I never thought that the Sarutobi family actually had so many ninjas hidden. I'm afraid this power directly accounts for about half of Konoha's current strength. Also, it must be very difficult to train these ninjas. I wonder how Hokage-sama did it. Or did you really obtain the so-called Six Path Sage's great secret treasure? So, that's how you were able to secretly train so many Sarutobi ninjas. Hiss. It turns out that the Six Path Sage's great secret treasure really exists. Ningji, said slowly, once again bringing up the seemingly forgotten great secret treasure. As soon as the words fell, the eyes of the people around him instantly turned red. That's it, that's it. It turns out that the Six Path Sage's secret treasure really exists. How else do you explain why the Sarutobi clan has so many ninjas? Not good. At the critical moment, Sarutobi Hirazan did not expect to be tricked by Ningji again. If the people around them really link the several thousand Sarutobi ninja soldiers with the Six Path Sage's great secret treasure, I'm afraid that the Sarutobi clan would never have peace in the future. Therefore, in order to prevent Ningji, from continuing to talk nonsense, he had to take action. And many more, I still have one last thing to say. Hokage-sama, do your cows smoke? Seeing that Sarutobi Hirazan was about to take action, Ningji, quickly asked a confusing question. No one present understood what it meant. I don't have any cows at home. What do you mean by that? Sarutobi Hirazan frowned, wanting to ponder the meaning of this sentence, because he had already seen the other party's sharp tongue. Every word he said could not be illogical, and there must be other purposes. I see. Just now I saw the Hokage's family land, and it was on fire. I thought it was your cow smoking and caused the fire. It turns out not to be the case. It seems like a joke, but its deeper meaning is different. After, Ningji, made his meaning clear, Sarutobi Hirazan felt terrible and a chilling fear surged in his heart. He planned so many things in Konoha, but in the final analysis, wasn't it just to make the Sarutobi clan stronger? If something really happened to the family, what would be the point of everything he did? Go, return to your tribe immediately. Sarutobi Hirazan spoke seriously to the thousands of Sarutobi ninja soldiers behind him, his face looking very anxious. He didn't think that, Ningji, was exaggerating. This can be seen from the series of problems that have arisen since the entire Six Path Sage secret treasure incident. 
It was obvious that they were all premeditated against Konoha, or rather, against him, Sarutobi Hirazan. He didn't know who this enemy was, and he couldn't find him. But that doesn't mean he didn't take it to heart. The original intention was to capture the Hyuga clan and investigate whether they were colluding with such an enemy. After all, Ningji's performance was too suspicious. By the way, establish his prestige in Konoha. However, family issues forced Sarutobi Hirazan to put it aside. We can only consider how to deal with the problem of the Hyuga clan afterwards. Hyuga clan leader, it's time for us to go too. You only have 10 minutes to leave Konoha. Otherwise, I can't guarantee what will happen to the Hyuga clan. Looking at Serutobi Hirazan and the others, he abandoned the Hyuga clan and Kakashi and other rebel ninjas and chose to leave directly. At this time, Ningji had to speak up to remind him. You're not Neji, Hanada Hiyashi said in shock, anger at being deceived instantly surged up. Hyuga clan leader, if you have time to get angry here, you might as well leave now. Don't take my words for granted. That's all I have to say. There's no point in saying more. You're already in the car and the doors are welded shut, so there's no reason to regret getting off. It is good. I need another answer. Who are you? Hyuga Hiyashi also knew that their Hyuga clan had no way to retreat. We can only continue to believe in... Ningji, and follow him towards the light, not the abyss. Uchiha, Ningji, he replied calmly. Just these three words are enough, there is no need to explain too much. I see. For a moment, Hayuga Hiyashi and Kakashi both thought of the mysterious Uchiha from a few months ago. After killing Serutobi Hiruzen's grandson Konohamaru, he started to speak out, claiming that he would take revenge on all those who participated in the Uchiha clan genocide. They believed it, but they also didn't believe it. I believe that the mysterious Uchiha will definitely take action. After all, such a huge hatred cannot be left unresolved. I don't believe it because there is no one left in the Uchiha clan. A solitary Uchiha is not that intimidating. Facing the powerful Konoha, I think he will definitely fail in the end. However, no one expected that the Uchiha clan, who had disappeared for several months, would cause such a big fuss and even, trick, the Hyuga clan into becoming Konoha's rebel ninjas. Konoha suffered heavy losses and was almost in a state of disintegration. This kind of means is not something that ordinary people can do. Since the establishment of Konoha village, it has experienced countless wars, big and small, some difficult and some easy. But no one has ever been able to make Konoha what it is today. Although, without the Senju and Uchiha, Konoha is no longer at its peak. But no matter what, this record is enough to make many people proud. Even a certain ninja world can brag about throwing a shuriken at the ninja god for decades, let alone this. So, it should be reasonable to brag about it for hundreds of years. Uchiha, this is amazing. At first, I thought that Ningji's amazing performance just now indicated that the Hyuga clan was about to rise. In the end, it was discovered that, Ninki, was Uchiha in disguise. This made Hanada Hiyashi feel depressed. When will our Hyuga clan be able to produce such a genius? Don't ask for too much, just be like Sasuke, that's enough. On the other side, Serutobi Hiruzen and his group quickly returned to the clan territory. It was discovered that there were indeed several fires in the tribal land, but they were not a big deal and were quickly put out by the tribesmen. What does it mean? Tune the tiger away from the mountain. Is it useful in such a short time? Seeing that his family was intact, Serutobi Hiruzen finally felt relieved, but he still couldn't figure it out. What does the person behind, Ningji, want to do? While Serutobi Hiruzen was deep in thought, he did not notice that there were several white figures appearing around the entire Serutobi family's territory. He quickly formed seals with both hands and slapped them on the ground at the same time. In an instant, a rectangular barrier of purple transparent flames was quickly constructed in the four directions of east, west, south and north of the Serutobi clan's territory, with purple flames attached to the barrier. It's called the Four Purple Flame Formation. After Serutobi Hiruzen and his companions entered the scene, the four white Zetsu performed together. Once the barrier is formed, outsiders will not be able to enter or exit the barrier, and will be burned by the flames if they touch the walls of the barrier. Old man, it seems that the enemy this time is not simple. Jiraiya seemed to have discovered something. 
He looked up into the air at the figure hanging above the Sarutobi clan's territory and said with a serious expression. That is, the one who killed Konohamaru before was this mysterious Uchiha. Hearing this, Sarutobi Hiruzen also raised his head, looked at the familiar outfit, and immediately remembered this person. With the appearance of Uchiha Yi, Sarutobi Hiruzen immediately connected all the causes and consequences. The mastermind behind this was this Uchiha. This guy, what is he planning to do by appearing here? Jiraiya frowned and stared at Uchiha Yi. Yo, our third Hokage is here. Using the power of the flame flame fruit, he floated in the air and immediately noticed the arrival of Sarutobi Hiruzen. Uchiha Yi greeted in a frivolous and teasing tone. So, you did all this. Sarutobi Hiruzen said angrily that the real reason was that his grandson and son were both dead, all because of this Uchiha. I waited for you to come here, not to reminisce with you. If it's a few months, do you still remember, Sarutobi Hiruzen? During the Warring States period, the Uchiha and Senju clans fought for thousands of years, but neither clan was ever exterminated. Now, the Uchiha clan has been exterminated by some ridiculous political conspiracy. How do you think we should settle this account? Uchiha Yi sneered and slowly raised his right hand. The Uchiha had been planning a coup for a long time. I had no choice but to avoid unrest in Konoha. And Itachi, even though he is a member of the Uchiha clan, he is kind-hearted and doesn't want to see this happen. Finally I chose this extreme path. Before this, I also advised him that there must be a solution to the conflict between the Uchiha and the village. Sarutobi Hiruzen explained in a deep voice. Ahahaha. That's very well said. Jiraiya, how about you make some comments as well? Hearing this, Uchiha Yi burst into laughter, and his laughter spread throughout Konoha. Fire style. Divine fire heavenly conquest. Cut. You keep saying that you want to find the child of prophecy and maintain peace in the ninja world. In the end, the person who committed countless crimes was right next to you but you turned a blind eye. Let him sit back and watch the Uzumaki clan destroy their country. Use all kinds of conspiracies and tricks to make the Senju clan decline. Forcing Konoha White Fang to commit suicide for a ridiculous reason. Now they're saying that the Uchiha are planning a coup, so they're going to destroy the Uchiha. Look at your disciple Namikaze Minato, who sacrificed himself to seal the Nine Tails in order to save Konoha. Naruto is a hero and the son of Hokage Minato Namikaze, but he is looked down upon and treated maliciously by the villagers all day long. Among all the things, which one has nothing to do with Sarutobi Hiruzen. I really don't understand, Jiraiya, what position do you have to maintain peace in the ninja world? What qualifications do you have to teach the child of prophecy? Want to make him a coward like you? Minato Namikaze is really blind to accept someone like you as his teacher. After Sarutobi Hiruzen and his group arrived, Uchiha Yi did not take action immediately. After all, the impact range of the Divine Fire Tensai, Resistant Fire Ring, is quite large, and the Hyuga clan has not yet evacuated. I don't want to kill them all. So, I said a little more at this time. Quote dot 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 quote. After hearing these words, Jiraiya was speechless, or perhaps he had always been very clear about these things in his heart but his situation put him in a dilemma. On one side is his mentor, otherwise he wouldn't have achieved what he has today from a common boy. On the other hand, there is the justice and kindness that he upholds in his heart. Caught between the two, he chose to escape. Now, having this false illusion broken by someone else, Jiraiya felt very uncomfortable. Okay, I'm too lazy to talk nonsense with you. Everything will return to dust, and dust to dust. Only after feeling the pain can one truly understand the pain. Jiraiya chose silence to avoid real problems, and Uchiha Yi sneered. Now the time has come, it's time for all this to end. He slowly raised his right hand and moved the corners of his mouth slightly, his voice barely audible. Except for himself, no one knows what Uchiha Yi is going to do. Everyone was curious and alert, staring at Uchiha Yi. Do it, Sarutobi Hiruzen shouted. No matter what, since they are enemies, there is nothing to talk about. I decided to strike first. At the command, thousands of ninjas took out their kanai and shurikens and threw them over without hesitation. After all, this is their clan's territory, and large-scale lethal ninjutsu cannot be used here. They have such concerns, but Uchiha Yi does not. 
fire style, divine fire heavenly conquest. At the same time Sarutobi Hiruzen and the others took action, a red sphere appeared around Uchihai and surrounded him. In the blink of an eye, the red sphere expanded exponentially, like a runaway train, rushing around, smashing everything it touched into pieces or turning it into flat objects. In less than a second, the red spherical barrier arrived in front of Sarutobi Hiruzen and the others. In such a short period of time, even Sarutobi Hiruzen and Jiraiya, who had the strength of cage, could not react at all, let alone make hand seals in time. In a hurry, they could only mobilize chakra to various parts of the body to give the body a certain degree of defense. But when they actually came into contact with this violent impact, they realized how naive their own thoughts were. This is simply not an attack that a human can resist. Hurry up! In the Hyuga clan's territory, after Hyuga Hiyashi returned, he had no time to explain and directly issued an order from the clan leader, demanding that everyone evacuate Konoha immediately. In this process, there will naturally be stubborn people who question this and refuse to cooperate and leave. And Hyuga Hiyashi is no longer as gentle as usual. Since they don't obey the clan leader's orders, he will use force and coercion to make them obey. In less than two minutes, the entire Hyuga clan surrendered. Without Serutobi Hiruzen standing by, many people in Konoha pretended not to see and allowed the Hyuga clan to walk out of Konoha. With the speed of a ninja, it doesn't take much time to leave Konoha from the Hyuga clan's territory. The moment they stepped out of Konoha, Hyuga Hiyashi heard it. A loud noise suddenly erupted over at the Serutobi clan's territory. Immediately afterwards, a red sphere was seen, and in just two or three seconds, it turned into an extremely huge red sphere. Wherever you go, it's flat ground. Nothing can stand in its way. Hiss. What a terrible ninjutsu. Looking back at Konoha, where I had just stepped out of, it has now become a ruin. With that kind of technique, how many people are still alive in Konoha? The Hyuga clan who survived the disaster felt extremely fortunate. If they had been a step slower, they would probably have suffered the same fate. But then again, what kind of enemy did Konoha provoke? It makes people simply unable to muster the courage to resist. So, does the clan leader who, predicted, all this in advance have any connection with Konoha's enemy? Two or three seconds is just the time for two or three breaths. But it turned the once prosperous Konoha into what it is today. There are corpses everywhere, and all soul points are transformed into system values. But now, Uchiha Yi was not in the mood to check. Because he searched carefully, but did not find the bodies of Jiraiya and Serutobi Hiruzen. So they're not dead yet. Logically speaking, they have no idea about their ability divine fire heavenly conquest. If you don't understand, you will inevitably bear all the damage. Even if he doesn't die, he will definitely lose the ability to move. However, the result now is that no one is seen alive, and no body is found after death. Did the Six Paths Sage take action? When he thought of this, Uchiha Yi became a little nervous. If that's the case, I'm not sure I can fend off such an enemy. It seems that this time, the Shinra Tensai was launched a little hastily. I don't know whether Naruto and Sasuke are dead or not. Whoosh! At this moment, a slight sound of breaking through the air was heard. Before Uchiha Yi could react, he saw a white-haired figure coming in front of him. Holding a kunai in his hand, he stabbed at his heart. Then it instantly penetrated his body. At this time, Uchiha Yi could see clearly the person in front of him. He has silver hair and black eyes, an iron forehead guard that looks like a face protector, and a white down collar on his shoulders that connects to his back. Thousand Hands Toborama it is obviously not normal for a person who has been dead for many years to appear here. So, that is to say. Whoosh, whoosh. Two more sounds of breaking through the air were heard. In addition to Senju Tobarama, there were several more people at the scene. Looking at the figures of these people, Uchiha Yi raised his eyebrows. He was not surprised at all, but still felt a little frightened in his heart. Since the Shadow Clone cannot sustain the consumption of the Divine Fire Tensai, the current Uchiha Yi is the real body, and once he dies, he will really die. If it weren't for the habit of maintaining elemental state, I might have been capsized by this sudden attack just now. Judging from the attack just now, Uchiha Yi naturally thought of the Flying Thunder God technique first. Then, there was nothing strange about their appearance. 
I think the reason why Sarutobi Hiruzen and Jiraiya were nowhere to be found alive or dead was most likely because they were rescued by them. But it doesn't matter now, because. As this Konoha. A man wearing red laminated armor looked around and saw that the place that was both familiar and unfamiliar had turned into a ruin. His face became a little gloomy. He turned to look at the pale, snake-like man and asked. This is Konoha. I didn't expect that I'm still a step too late. Long time no see, ah -oh, oh The pale man stuck out his tongue, licked the corner of his mouth perversely, and said to Uchiha Yi with a sinister smile. Orochimaru, I'm very curious, as a traitorous ninja of Konoha, what's your position to be here now? Uchiha Yi asked with a few chuckles. I've long felt that there was something wrong with Orochimaru, and now it seems that I was right. Fortunately, Uchiha Yi did not choose to cooperate with him to implement the Konoha Collapse Plan. Otherwise, you would be sold out by him and not know where you went wrong. I think there's some misunderstanding, Huo-kun. I just want to test the latest research results. Orochimaru began to explain, but these words were just to deceive other people, since Uchiha Yi didn't believe a word of it anyway. All right, Uchiha Juniors, I want to know what's going on here. The man in the red vest, who seemed to be getting a little impatient, spoke again. Senju Hashirama, didn't Orochimaru explain this problem to you? Why bother asking me this? Uchiha Yi was too lazy to explain. In the ninja world, many things do not mean that just because you are right, others will stand on your side. Just like Jiraiya, many of the things Serutobi Hiruzen did were basically contrary to the justice in his heart, and he probably knew something about it in his heart. But in the end he still chose to turn a blind eye and aid and abet rather than enforce justice. The same is true in front of people like Hashirama Senju and Toborama Senju. So, whether it is right or wrong, ultimately, it all comes down to strength. After hearing what Uchiha Yi said, Orochimaru tactfully told him the whole story of the cause of everything. In Uchiha Yi's opinion, it was relatively fair and not biased towards either side. After Orochimaru finished speaking, the first and second Hokage fell into silence involuntarily. You can tell whether something is right or wrong at a glance. Uchiha Yi was also very curious about how the two of them planned to deal with this matter in the end. Innately evil Uchiha, your misfortune is not a reason for you to destroy Konoha. So many innocent people are dying because of what you did. How are we going to settle this account with you? Unlike Hashirama Senju, Toborama Senju was silent for a while, then immediately turned to look at Uchiha Yi and scolded. At this point, it is useless to continue to blame Serutobi Hiruzen. What he wanted to do more now was to get rid of the Uchiha who was trapped in darkness. I'm curious too, the born evil old ghost with a thousand hands. Your disciple has wiped out your entire family, leaving only Tsunade. How do you feel now? Do you regret accepting such a disciple? Do you want to slap him to death right now? Uchiha Yi was not to be outdone, he retorted with a teasing look. Humph, Senju Toborama was speechless for a moment, and stopped talking, snorting coldly. He picked up the kanai and threw it directly at Uchiha Yi. In fact, he really regretted it in his heart. He blamed himself for not being able to judge people well, which led to Konoha becoming what it is today. But the problems have already arisen, so let's solve them one by one instead of continuing to waste our breath and say these meaningless words. Especially this Uchiha who poses a huge threat to Konoha must be eliminated. Konoha was destroyed, but as long as people are still alive, we can rebuild it and all these difficulties can be overcome. The moment the Kanai flew out, Uchiha Yi knew how difficult this technique was. I dare not be careless at all. Words are meaningless, strength is the only measure of right and wrong. Awaken, as he thought, the ability of the fruit hidden in his body was instantly activated. The energy of fire quickly filled his body, and his black hair also turned into golden flames. A ball of golden flame emanated from his body, rising into the sky and reaching the clouds. The entire cloud layer above Uchiha Yi was burned into a golden red color, like a scene of doomsday. This Uchiha Jr. is really not simple. Seeing such a big commotion, Hashirama Senju, who was originally in a depressed mood, couldn't help but look up. This change in celestial phenomena caused by personal ability is enough for him to take it seriously. It's amazing. Orochimaru, who was standing aside, 
was also looking at the burning red sky, expressing his inner shock. In fact, when I was in the hidden mist village, by chance, the psychic snake was sent out to collect materials everywhere. With just a quick glance, he saw Uchiha Yi performing these disaster level forbidden techniques. That moment was so daunting that he could never forget it. I always wonder in my mind, how should I deal with it if I were to face Ahuo? Then I deduced it countless times in my mind, and the answer I got was, if I can't win, I can only avoid the fight. In a short period of time, the strength cannot achieve a qualitative leap. Then find another way. So, Orochimaru couldn't help but think of the forbidden technique that had not been perfected before, impure world reincarnation. Since he can't win, let someone stronger come out to fight Ahuo. Finally, in the hidden mist village, an environment with abundant materials, it only took several months to finally perfect this technique. Even his technique of reincarnation in pursuit of immortality was put aside by him. It can be seen how much pressure Ahuo's performance at that time brought to Orochimaru. The first Hokage, I feel like the second Hokage might not be able to suppress the other party. I'm afraid it's still up to you to make a move. Uchiha Yi's formation is so awe-inspiring that one always feels that Senju Tobarama is not safe enough. That's why Orochimaru said this to Senju Hashirama. As the awakening ability of the fruit was activated, Uchiha Yi seemed to have evolved across a class, and his whole body exuded a different aura. Noble, perfect, powerful. Just standing there, the scorching heat that hits you in the face is something that ordinary mortals cannot approach. This is the most intuitive external expression for everyone. Whoosh, the kanai flew over, and just as it got close, it was instantly replaced by the figure of Senju Tobarama. Looking at Uchiha Yi's new posture, he snorted coldly with a serious face, and stabbed him with the kanai without hesitation. The speed is so fast that it is really difficult for people to react. Uchiha Yi raised his head slightly, with a sneer on his face. Flame sigh. He opened his mouth and blew gently at it, and a stream of golden flame gushed out and hit it directly. However, Senju Tobarama, relying on his fearlessness of death due to his impure world reincarnation, did not even consider dodging and continued to swing his kanai forward. But what happened the next second was truly unbelievable to Tobarama Senju. After the golden flame touched his body, it suddenly dissipated in the wind-like smoke. The kanai in his hand also turned into a lump of molten iron. Fire punch. Immediately afterwards, a flaming fist smashed into Senju Tobarama's face and shattered it instantly like a piece of tofu. The force of the fire continued unabated as it fell behind him, instantly turning the entire area into a sea of fire. Seeing that the situation was not good, Orochimaru escaped quickly. Originally, he wanted to stay here and collect information through the psychic snake. But unfortunately, the temperature of the flames was too high at this time, and all the creatures stranded here were burned to death. The body of Senju Tobarama, whose impure world reincarnation body was shattered, is slowly recovering. There is definitely no power to act for the time being. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Uchiha Yi wanted to continue his attack and wanted to kill it completely. But Hashirama Senju, who had not taken any action so far, would not sit idly by. Wood release. Wooden man technique. Seeing that Senju Tobarama had been defeated, Senju Hashirama no longer chose to wait and see. He clapped his hands and immediately transferred chakra to the tree, causing it to grow rapidly and turn into a giant wooden man. Everyone is as small as an ant in front of it. The formed wooden man immediately launched an attack on Uchiha Yi. The pair of huge hands slapped down directly on his head and the coverage area made it impossible for Uchiha Yi to move away in an instant unless he used the fire escape technique. However, an attack of this degree alone would not leave him powerless to fight back. Fire punch. Golden flames wrapped around the fist, and energy continued to accumulate. The moment the wooden man's palm fell, he immediately threw a punch. And the golden flame flew out of his hand, like a golden skyline, meeting the wooden man's palm. At the moment of collision, there was an explosion, and the wooden man's entire body was engulfed by the golden flames and began to burn. In less than three seconds, the huge wooden man was burned into a pile of black ash by the golden flames. Ha ha ha. Although, this body of reincarnation only exerted more than half of his strength. But not everyone can contend with his wood release technique head on. 
Unexpectedly, apart from his good friend Uchiha Madara, there is actually someone who can withstand his woodman technique. It is really amazing. This made Senju Hashirama feel so happy that he started laughing. Brother, be serious, this kid is not simple. After recovering, Senju Tobarama preached to his unreliable elder brother. Afterwards, Senju Tobarama looked at Uchiha Yi again, trying to find the opponent's weakness. But Uchiha Yi had no intention of playing with them anymore. Heaven and Earth Ashes Without knowing when, his hands had condensed into two balls of extremely concentrated golden flames. Uchiha Yi pressed them to the ground, and they immediately sank into the soil and disappeared in an instant. Just when the two of them were a little confused about this, they suddenly felt that the entire ground began to shake. The next second, pillars of fire rushed out from the ground, like a fire dragon that had escaped from prison, and flew into the sky, connecting the sky and the earth. Soon, the entire area was filled with pillars of fire that connected heaven and earth. At this moment, this place completely turned into a hell furnace, burning everything and turning it all into ashes. I could feel all the moisture in my body being sucked out, and my body was quickly drying up and cracking, like pieces of earth constantly falling off. Ah, we have done our best. Let the younger generations handle the rest. Feeling that this body had reached its limit, Senju Hashirama sighed and said. Now he is unable to display all the strength he had in his lifetime, and this Uchiha is extremely powerful. Up to now, I can say that I have tried my best. These were all caused by the disciples of Senju Tobarama, and Senju Hashirama had no way to say who was right or wrong. Hateful, innately evil Uchiha brat. I'll make sure you pay next time. The same is true for Tobarama Senju, his body of impure world reincarnation has reached its limit. But he still felt very unwilling. Finally, as pieces of paper and dirt fell off their bodies, they lost their vitality and turned into two strange corpses. Okay, the system didn't receive the soul points from both of them. Watching the two people exit, Uchiha Yi was alert and at the same time, he also paid attention to the system panel. I found that the above values did not change. In other words, the soul points of the Thousand Hands brothers were not picked up by it. This made Uchiha Yi extremely puzzled. So, try to ask the system why. The answer I got was that there was external intervention, so the pickup failed. External intervention. Did the old man Lu Dao take action secretly? Apart from this factor, Uchiha Yi really couldn't think of anyone else who had the ability to do such a thing. However, in the end, the old man of six paths did not take action to punish him. It must be because Sasuke and Naruto were not dead and had not touched his bottom line. It seems that Sasuke and Naruto cannot be killed for the time being. Now there are only a few Uchiha left, all of them are, bad seeds, who are determined to carry out the Munai plan. Old man Ludao is not at ease to hand over the power of Indra to such people. And Sasuke is the most suitable person to carry the power of Indra. Under the influence of Ashura's reincarnation, Sasuke is destined not to go the path of destroying the world. As for the person who carries the power of Ashura, with the thousand hands left without a human and the Uzumaki destroying the country, there is no other suitable candidate except Naruto. If something happens to both of them, then who in the entire ninja world is suitable to bear this power? The Rinnegan has appeared, and the Six Paths Demon Statue has been summoned away. It is possible that Black Zetsu's Munai plan will succeed at any time and release Kagaya Otsutsuki. Who will have the ability to stop it then? Without the power of Ashura and Indra to protect it, the ninja world will be doomed. This is something that old man Ludao doesn't want to see. So, as Naruto and Sasuke are the ones who carry Ashura and Indra, the old man of six paths naturally would not sit idly by and watch them get into trouble. With the departure of the Senju brothers, Hashirama, Konoha became a ruin, coupled with the influence of the awakened ability of the flame flame fruit. I'm afraid this place will become a Jedi for a long time to come. The remaining fire has not been extinguished, the water has dispersed, and not a blade of grass grows. This is the lasting influence on the surrounding environment after the ability is awakened. If you want to restore it, you need to spend enough time and energy to repair it slowly. Or you can ask Hashirama Senju or Yamato to come out and plant trees. But these are none of my business. The purpose of this time can basically be declared achieved. Of course, this result is not perfect. 
because at the last moment, Sarutobi Hirazan and the others escaped. However, these are just minor issues. I'll ask Black Zetsu to find them later and clean up this tale, it's no big deal. Keeping my word is my way of endurance. Since he once said that he would destroy their clan, he would really destroy it. It cannot be just talk. Black Zetsu, are you there? Uchiha Yi shouted into the air. I truly admire Black Zetsu's ability to hide and lurk. Swish. From time to time, a person wrapped in a pitcher plant slowly emerged from the ground, revealing a black and white face. Looking at Ahuo, Black Zetsu's mood became very complicated. The main reason was the strength shown by Uchiha Yi, which made him somewhat unsure, and he was most afraid that Ahuo would eventually become an obstacle to his plan. So, now Black Zetsu is very conflicted about whether or not to continue cooperating with the other party. Alas, a two is still the best. Be obedient, easy to fool. What's the matter? After thinking about it, Black Zetsu decided to continue observing and replied. After all, Ahuo is so powerful that he can definitely be a powerful helper in the Moon Eye project. He would not be stupid enough to push such a person to the opposite side of himself. Besides, judging from what Ahuo did to Konoha, he doesn't seem like a member of Ryoshu's camp at all. I want to know where Danzo Shimura, Hiruzen Serutobi and the others are. Uchiha Yi Jiming asked. Let Bai Zetsu take you to find it. After thinking through some issues, Black Zetsu's answers became much more straightforward. After a while, a white Zetsu possessed Uchiha Yi. Then he used the Mayfly technique and took Uchiha Yi to find the remnants of Sarutobi Hiruzen and his gang. If white Zetsu possesses his real body, will he use the spore technique on himself? There is actually no need to consider this question. Uchiha Yi's whole body is covered in fire, and he is simply the natural enemy of plants. If anyone dares to possess him, he will be burned immediately. There is no possibility that it will pose a threat to myself. But now he needs to use White Zetsu's ability, so naturally he has to control the fire in his body. Under the leadership of White Zetsu, it didn't take long for Uchiha Yi to arrive at an underground base outside Konoha. This was once a base built by Danzo Shimura to secretly conduct human experiments. Ah, Konoha is finished. As soon as Uchiha Yi came in, he heard Serutobi Hiruzen sigh. As if sensing a stranger approaching, Serutobi Hiruzen suddenly turned his head and looked at Uchiha Yi, without the slightest trace of surprise on his face. After Orochimaru told him that the first and second generations were no match for Uchiha Yi, Serutobi Hiruzen knew what his fate would be. It is only a matter of time before the other party finds me. Whatever you sow, you will reap what kind of fruit. Facing reality, Serutobi Hiruzen also figured out many things. Therefore, he chose to face Uchiha Yi alone, and he arranged for all the living people in Konoha to be dispersed throughout the ninja world. As long as no one finds them right away, they have a chance to survive. Before I die, can I know who you are? Looking at Uchiha Yi slowly appearing in front of him, Serutobi Hiruzen pleaded in an old and decayed tone. What's the use of knowing this now? Uchiha Yi frowned. He didn't want to waste any time talking. But he couldn't help but want to hear if the old man had any last words, so he stopped what he was doing and asked back. It's meaningless. I'm just curious. Serutobi Hiruzen smiled bitterly. Humph. Ignition. When I heard this, I felt bored. Uchiha Yi was too lazy to pay attention to him, knowing in his heart that this old guy knew some terrible ceiling forbidden techniques. I don't want to capsize in the ditch. After a quick check with his piercing eyes, he confirmed that it was Sarutobi Hiruzen's real body. In case of any unexpected events, use the ignition skill directly. It is unable to extinguish the sealed flame and can only allow itself to be burned by the fire of thousands of degrees for 10 seconds. Even though Serutobi Hiruzen was a weak cage-level warrior, he was ultimately just a mortal body. Unable to even hold on for five seconds, Serutobi Hiruzen turned into a black skeleton. At the same time, the system also received feedback from soul points. So, from this moment on, Serutobi Hiruzen was truly dead, the kind that even the impure world reincarnation technique could not bring him back to life. Next, under the leadership of Uchiha Yi and White Zetsu, they found Danzo Shimura, Kaharu Yudatane, and N of Mido Kado. Except for Danzo Shimura who was a little harder to kill, 
the other two were killed cleanly and efficiently, and their soul points were taken away by Uchiha Yi. Finally, continue to pursue the survivors of the four tribes. This revenge called Uchiha came to a successful conclusion with the extermination of the four clans. Of course, this doesn't mean you can rest easy from now on. Think about the Otsutsuki family bucket that will appear in the future, and the so-called Otsutsuki god. Uchiha Yi felt a sense of urgency again. There are still ways to deal with the entire Otsutsuki family. But for an existence like the Otsutsuki god, it is completely unpredictable. According to the setting of Boruto, the Otsutsuki god is the final form of evolution after devouring countless planets. It is difficult to guess how strong it is unless you reach that level. Even if the entire ninja world was sacrificed, it would only be equivalent to gaining the power of a planet. Compared with the Otsutsuki god who devoured countless planets, it is far inferior. I always feel that I can't win. Although the system has endowed him with many powerful abilities, the ninja world is so small that no matter how hard he tries, the resources will always be a fixed number. Well, without sufficient resources, no matter how powerful your abilities are, you won't be able to rise to the top and it will become meaningless. So, where can I find so many resources? Shock, Konoha, the leader of the five major ninja villages, was destroyed. Because Uchiha Yi placed a divine fire tensai in Konoha, he accidentally killed all the people who should be killed and those who should not be killed. The news leading to Konoha's destruction was somewhat delayed. It was several days later that the spies in the villages realized what was going on. Send someone to take a look. Hiss. This should be the original location of Konoha. How did it turn into a burnt earth pit? After an on-site investigation, the spies discovered that traces of Konoha's former existence still remained in the ruins. In other words, this is Konoha, but it was destroyed by a powerful force and turned into what we see before us. Hiss. All the spies took a deep breath, their souls trembling, and panic rising in their hearts. After the news spread, it caused a huge uproar. In order to obtain more relevant information, each ninja village continued to send people to investigate. But the result remains a mystery. All we know is that it was done by a mysterious Uchiha. Even the survivors of Konoha were not sure who it was. As a result, a strange dark cloud shrouded the entire ninja world. In addition to harvesting a large number of soul points, it is worth mentioning that the Sharingan finally evolved into the Mangekyo Sharingan at that moment. The awakened kaleidoscope's eye technique is also very interesting. The pupil technique of the left eye is heat vision. After using pupil surgery, high temperature rays can be emitted from both eyes, with a temperature of up to 6000 C, which can melt metal and destroy buildings. It can also be integrated into one's own fire escape ability, allowing the heat vision to have the characteristics of the fire escape ability. The pupil technique of the right eye is the body of an immortal. This is a passive eye technique. After opening the Mangekyo, the body will automatically absorb natural energy and combine it with its own chakra to form fairy chakra. Switch to sage mode in seconds. Not only that, it also has the effect of nourishing the body and prolonging life. When accumulated to a certain level, the change in life level will be completed and transformed into an immortal. After understanding this, Uchiha Yi's face looked strange. It is mainly the combination of these two abilities that always gives people a feeling that is both familiar and unfamiliar. Isn't this the template of Azu in the Naruto world? Laser eyes right pointing arrow heat vision. Immortal body right pointing arrow body of steel. They are so similar. Good, good. Good, that's how we play, right? I've already told you, I want to be a good person. Why do you force me? It would be better if you just let me change my name to Uchiha Azu. Despite all the complaints, Uchiha Yi was still very satisfied with the two awakened eye techniques. Before, I was thinking about how to deal with the Otsutsuki clan's ability to absorb chakra. I had been thinking about going to the three holy places to learn some magic. Now it seems that there is no need for that. The pupil technique of his right eye allowed him to achieve his wish. Try it and see how it works. Kaleidoscope, open. With a thought, Uchiha Yi's Sharingan, which was originally in the shape of three Magatama, suddenly began to spin violently. When they stopped, they transformed into a Sharingan with a pupil in the shape of a sun. Heat sight. After locking his eyes on a big tree in the distance, with a whoosh, two beams of light shot out from his eyes in an instant, p. 
piercing through the two-meter-thick tree trunk without any hindrance, leaving two small charred holes. Then his sight moved sideways and immediately cut the entire tree smoothly in half. Boom! A big tree fell down, raising a cloud of dust on the ground. Try this again, Amaterasu. Heat vision. There was another whoosh sound, and black beams of light shot out from his eyes, hitting another big tree. It was still directly penetrated by the beam of light, but the difference this time was that there was a residual black flame in the hole that was still burning, causing damage to the tree. Especially after integrating Amaterasu into thermal vision, the release speed of thermal vision is increased, which greatly improves the ability to fight against the enemy. Uchiha Yi did not continue to experiment with other fire escape abilities one by one, after all, they were all similar. While the Mangekyo was open, Uchiha Yi's body also transformed into a sage body. You don't need to do any movement, your body will absorb the natural energy around you and synthesize it quickly inside. After waiting for about five minutes, Uchiha Yi planned to use the synthesized fairy chakra to activate the sage mode. Sage mode, turn on. With a light shout, the fairy chakra in the body was immediately mobilized, infusing the whole body, forming lines of flame patterns. In terms of physical fitness, Uchiha Yi could clearly feel that he was many times stronger. Speed, physical strength, reaction ability, sensing ability, and ninjutsu amplification effects, etc. It's simply an all-round enhancement. Immortal technique. Great fireball technique. He opened his mouth and spit forward. A seemingly ordinary fireball flew directly into the distance and landed on a big rock. Oh, in the blink of an eye, the big rocks were blown into rubble. From an intuitive point of view, the power is at least three or four times stronger than that of ordinary fireball techniques. After testing the abilities of these two eye techniques, Uchiha Yi could feel that the consumed eye power was slowly recovering under the nourishment of the immortal body. In this way, although you won't go blind, it's still not very satisfactory. The blood power that had previously devoured Uchiha Fugaku and Uchiha Makoto should now take effect. The reason why I chose to devour only these two people was to prepare for this moment. He has no relatives or friends, so even if he awakens the Sharingan, it will only be at the Mangekyo level at best. The appearance of Void Devouring Flame gave Uchiha Yi hope of advancing to the Eye of Eternity. Uchiha Yi didn't know much about blood genes, but he knew that there was some kind of rejection in medicine. He was worried that the fusion of too much Uchiha blood would cause the bloodline to become a bit mixed, which would cause more problems in transplanting Fugaku's Mangekyo and ascending to Eternal. After he absorbed the blood power of Fugaku and Makoto, he became a blood relative of them. Then according to the setting of Naruto, if you transplant the Mangekyo of your brothers or blood relatives, you can be promoted to the Eternal Eye. Therefore, in order to ensure the compatibility of the fusion of Fugaku Mangekyo, Uchiha Yi only chose to devour the blood of these two people at that time. However, now I still need to find a reliable person to help me with the transplant. After all, I don't have the plug-and-play skills. It seems that we have offended Konoha too badly. Now if I want to find a helper, I have no choice. Forget it, I won't go blind for now, just take my time. Soon, Uchiha Yi put the matter aside, and now it was time to take stock of the harvest. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.